Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, my name is Oscar. Sharon. Nice to meet you. Same here. So you live around here? Not too far from here. Oh, okay. So do you often walk out on this road? Well, a couple of times a week. Oh, that's great. Right, right. You look good. Thank you. So what do you do for a living? Well, nothing, really. Nothing? Sorry? Nothing? I just completed my NYC and I'm job hunting. Oh, job hunting. I see. Hmm. Okay, I, um, I work with a uh, rich more group of companies here. Nice. And Good I'm, for you. yeah, I'm close to the MD. Okay. I can talk to him on your behalf. What did you study, please? Business administration. Oh, business admin. Oh, that's good. So I can talk to him on your behalf. Really? If that's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can. I can. I can. Yeah, I can. Oh. Please, let me, let me have your number so I can... Uh... Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Here. Sharon. Yeah. Yeah, Sharon. Nice. I remember. I'll just save it. So like I said, uh, I'm close to the MD. I can talk to him on your behalf. And whatever he says, I'll give you a call. Okay. Is that okay? Sure. All right. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Nice morning. All right. Today is a good day. What happened? Ah, while I was jogging this morning. Hey, stop now. Mm. Well, as I was saying, mm -hmm. I was jogging this morning and I met this guy. His name is Oscar. He was also jogging. We got talking. And he told me that he is the personal assistant to the MD slash CEO of Richmore Group of Companies Limited. Mom, that's the company that produces plastic. Ah. Richmore Group of Company. Mm -hmm. All those, uh, all those of our plastics and buckets, uh, my cooler inside the store. They are, they are their products. Mom. Huh? Hold on, let me just give you the good news. Okay. Now, the good news is Oscar promised to put in a word. <laughs> talk, talk. Okay, okay. He promised to put in a word and probably help me secure a job in that company. <laughs> Seriously? Mom, have I ever said anything less? I am serious. Like, I have a good feeling about it. Hey! This. My daughter, you know what? I know that God must surely answer my prayers. Amen. He will. And he will grant you your heart's desire. Hmm. Amen. Amen. Now you are true. Job is there waiting for you. Amen. God must surely do it. Mom, I just oh believe that God orchestrated my meeting with Oscar today. Because come to think of it, why would our paths cross today of all days? I have been jogging every morning since I got back from service. Mm -hmm. And today feels blessed. I don't know. Everything is just... I'm excited, Mom. And I just pray that everything works. God is at work. Amen. God is at work. Amen. He must surely do it for you, my daughter. From your mouth straight to God's ears. Yes, now. <laughs> eh? I am a, I, 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 I am a, 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 a daughter of God. Mm. Eh? The most high God. Uh -huh. <laughs> he must surely hear my prayer. Mom, please. I know. I feel thirsty. Let me just go take some water. Oh, so water. <laughs> Mom, please stop. Be cool. Be cool. 
go, go, go. go. I'm also uh, uh, the you service. Uh, okay, I'm also so. uh, what I have is water. I won't get water. No, I don't have money. Hey! God. Rich more plastic group of company. God, you never fail. Do this for her. Let your will be done. Are you talking? Oh, yes, Oscar. Um, get the manager to place an advert on newspapers, social media, wherever, uh, with respect to the vacant position of the company's administrator as soon as possible. Um, Chief, I think I have found the right person for that position. Um, she has a master's degree in business administration. Yeah. Really? Yes, sir. Who is she? Her name is Sharon. Sharon. How well do you know her? Um, I've known her for a while, sir. Uh, and you kept quiet all this while? I mean, you are aware that uh, this position has been existing for the past one month. And you didn't say anything. Uh, my apologies, Chief. I, I only just remembered this morning. It was an oversight. It's all right. Um, okay, uh, place a call to her. Ask her to see me immediately. Oh, you mean I should call her to come over? Yeah, of course. Um, tell her to come and um, she should come with her CV and her application later. All right, I'll do that ASAP. Okay, thank you. Hello? Um, Sharon, right? My name is Oscar. Yeah. I'm okay, how about you? Alright, uh, I spoke to my boss about you and uh, he asked that you come around. I told you I was going to call you back, right? Uh, okay, so just come along with your CV. Hey, congratulations in advance. All right. Nothing short of excellence. Oscar was indeed right. Huh. Impressive. Come on. Cheers. This is amazing. You are a first class graduate of business administration? Yes, sir. Wow, impressive. Sharon, right? Yes. Well, um, your grade is great. 
But I'm sorry to tell you that we don't have need for someone like you. We don't need your services because um, there's nowhere to fix you. Edmond? Chief. It's not a place to decide that. Let me have the ceiling. Oh, sorry, Chief. Mm -hmm. I only ask you to look at it oh, sorry, so that you know that uh, we have a very competent person here. Um, Chief, I just wanted to tell her the truth. Which is? Anyways. Good. Um, Sharon? Yes, Chief. Congratulations. I'm offering you the position of um, administrative officer in this company. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Chief. Yes. Thank you. Thank Do you, you have Thank any you. problem with my decision? No, not at all, Chief. No. Good. Thank Sharon. you, Chief. Thank you. Right. Sharon. Thank you. This is uh, Edmond. The supervisor in the company um, is going to give you the necessary orientation you need and um, show you to your office. Thank you, Chief. I promise I'll, I'll give it my all. Thank you so much, sir, for this opportunity. Thank you. Sharon? Yes, Shall we? Of course. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chief. Thank you. 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 Thank you so much. This is really beautiful. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Well, um, like I said in the briefing, um, this is rich more group of company. In this company, there are so many things we don't take, like ill chatting, irresponsible reasons for not coming to work, and other things like loitering around and playing with your job. Yes, 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 yes. You you said all of that during orientation and. It's duly noted, sir. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Thank you. It's okay. <laughs> wow, I hope you like it. Eh? Mm hmm. Uh, but please, can I? Yeah, sure, feel free. It's your office. Thank you. <laughs> she has to dance to my tune, else I'll kick her out. I have kicked out numbers of persons from this office and she's not going to be an exception. Oh my god. I'm glad you like it. Yes, I like it. Thank you. Well, that'll be all for now. It's okay. Yes, 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 you did it. God, you did it. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much for this wonderful gift. I can't thank you enough. Thank you for putting a smile, restoring my peace, and keeping my faith. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, God. Finally. As for Oscar, I can just wait to thank you. Like, this is wonderful. This is a good one. Thank you, Oscar. God bless you. Hey. <laughs> Hi, look who's in charge of me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you deserve a hug. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything. Thank you. God bless you. <sighs> you made all of this happen. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, uh, what are you up to? Nothing much. I was just trying to familiarize myself with the office, right. then 
get up to date with the files. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. Once again, congratulations, and uh, I'll let you do your work, okay? Oh. Oscar, thank you so much. Thank you for allowing God to use you to bless me. You're oh. God's saying thank you. You deserve the best. Thank you. All right, so we take care. It's your, oh, sorry. I wanted to ask you. Yeah. Is Mr. Edmund in any way related to the MD? Like, is he his son, in law, relative, whatever? No, not at all. He's a staff just like every other person in this office. Why, why are you asking? Uh, nothing, really. I just wanted to know. Because he's always acting all oh, high and mighty, like. Oh, I think you should. Um, Ignore him and focus on your work. Of course. Yeah, just like I said, he's just uh, he's a staff like every other person. All right. It's okay. That's fine. All Thank right. you. It's okay. I'll leave you to get used to work. It's okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Singing in on joy. What is it? Uh, how did it go? Mom, eh? I am so happy that I cannot contain my joy. Really? Uh, how did it go? Eh? You are killing me with anxiety already. Talk to me. <laughs> eh? Mom! Eh? <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> yeah, you will Mom. not kill me. Mom, eh? guess what? Uh -huh. You mm. are standing beside mm -hmm. the new administrative officer of Richmond Group of Companies Limited. Ah! 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 Sharon! Yes! You! Mommy! Mom, I am so, so elated. I don't even want to do any more. Like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You mean that young man you met earlier today kept to his promise? Hmm. Mom, God works in mysterious ways. You're he, right. He, I, don't, I don't know. Yes, he did. He kept his word. Like I told you, he's the PA to the MD. He's his right-hand man, Mom. Like, I just couldn't believe it. Like, my dear, let me just confess to you. Do you know I almost stopped you from going to your usual morning workout? Do you know? Hey, thank God not. I did not do it again. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Mom, mom I, I don't know what else to do. I'm, I'm happy, Mom, but... <sighs> Why? Why did your mood suddenly change? Mom, I think I, I might have a problem in that office. No, go for it. Problem one. How? Eh? Go forbid. You will not have any problem. Amen. What do you mean by that? Uh, Mom, let's mm. not just kill this joy. Nothing matters. You will not kill me. I am me. happy. Sharon, you will not kill me. You will not die. Oh, oh, oh. See, uh -huh. this cause for celebration. Okay. Uh -huh. Mom, uh -huh. what, what do you want to drink? What do you want to eat? I'll uh, drink. Oh, you want to go to church and celebrate? Which one do you want? Uh, let me drink some water first. Thank you for everything. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we worship you. 
now and forevermore in Jesus name. Amen. Good morning, my dear. Good morning. How was your Good morning. Night? No, it's fine. And that was fine. I slept well. Mm -hmm. I know now. I know now. No wonder she came late. Mom! I remember that. Yes, ma'am. Right. It's not for anybody to see what's wrong with you. Why are you teasing me? Please, please. it's morning. Hey, see. Go and get prepared. Let me go and prepare the breakfast. Yes. Mm -hmm. Today is your... Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. Great and me. Be a good girl. That's my sister. Be a good girl. Mom, I'm always a good girl. What's that? I know that. Tell him to be a good boy, not me. He's a big girl. He's a good boy. Mom, so I'm a bad girl. No, I didn't say so. Better. Let me go and shower. Let me go and shower. Great and me. Congratulations. Great and me. Look at the way she's smiling. Chief, Chief, something happened this morning and needs to be attended urgently. And if it's not properly addressed, this will lead to some sort of revolt. And more. Okay. Calm down, okay? Calm down, please sit. Edmond. I mean, what happened that um, you are looking so upset? Chief, this madness has to be addressed immediately. You still have not said anything. Chief, I came to the office this morning. I saw Sharon conducting morning devotion in the office. Oh, that. Uh, that one is actually a nice one. You like it? Chief, is this what you have to say? Chief, this is an office. This month. I don't see anything wrong with that. As a matter of fact, you are supposed to commend her for that. You are a supervisor in this company for years, and you never thought it wise to do such a thing. And now somebody else brought this wonderful initiative and you are revolting? Listen, henceforth, I am making money devotion mandatory in this company. Okay? Chief, the Sharon that started this devotion was just employed yesterday. And today she has started morning devotion. Does it make sense? Sorry, Chief, I have to go back to money. I'm busy. This morning. You said the madness you protect downstairs in the middle of praying. Listen, if you try me in this office, I will ensure that you'll be fired. I'm not bluffing about this. Look at what I would see. I don't get this. That's serious about this. Mr. Edmund, I don't get this one bit. What's going on? Oh, you're beginning to pretend as if you don't know what you're talking about. I am talking about where you are talk for in this office. I don't really like it. I said so. Stop it! Mr. Edmund, I don't see anything wrong in what I did. I only conducted morning devotion, which is supposed to be done in every office, every single day. Why this is it not sitting well with you? This is an office, not a prayer crowd. If you want to do that, you take it to your house. This is an office. We don't do it here. I said so. Well, Mr. Edmund, if you think that I have derailed from the laid down rules and regulations of this office, then you should complain to the MD. Okay? He is the only one who has every 
every right to tell me to stop, not the other way around. Mm. I see. You have guns. What's the meaning of this nonsense? He's not done raving and now he's back. What is it? Come in! Hi. Hi. Um, the MD wants you. Of course, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be there shortly. Right now? Of course. I'll be right there. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your name reigns in all of the earth. Yes, 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 yes. We did it. You alone did it. Because my Bible tells me the name of the Lord is a true tower. The righteous runs into it and they are safe. They are safe and they are protected in your mercy, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I am super excited and happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. This is a good start. Apparently, we are preachers of the gospel and we preach Jesus everywhere we go. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Wow. What kind of human being is that? I have no idea. You have to be careful with him. Mom, you needed to have seen his bloody red eyes when he walked in on us singing praises and worship. His eyes were pure red. Hmm. Huh. Mm. <laughs> that man was be a demon. Hmm. Well, he threatened me. Yes, he threatened me that he was going to deal with me if I don't stop that nonsense I call morning devotion, according to him. You would have challenged him. Of course, Mom. Don't you trust your daughter? I did. I stood my ground. And I emphatically told him that only the MD has a right to tell me what to do and what not to do in that office. Good. Yes. And what did he say? <sighs> well, as usual, he started raving, insults, said a whole lot of things, and finally, he dashed out like a raving madman that he is. I don't care. My daughter, <sighs> you have an assignment in that office. Yes, something tells me that there is something fishy about that Mr. Edmund. Yes. You think so? I know so. Something is fishy about him. Whatever, I sincerely do not care about him. That's his Sweet. Hmm. Something happened today at the company that uh, I've not witnessed that in the history of rich more group of companies. Mm. Good or bad? Good. Good. Um, I was told that um, this young girl that was recruited yesterday mm -hmm conducted a prayer session with all the staff 
Hmm. Is that right? Yes. But something funny happened. This supervisor, Edmund, I was told, went to the venue of the prayer session and disrupted it. What? Why should they do a thing like that? You ask me. And the funny thing is that he had the impetus to come to my office, ranting, uh -uh. threatening fire and brightstone, right in my presence. Edmund. Yeah. I thought he's a Christian. Ah. So I thought. So what beats me is why a Christian is now opposed to prayers. Then he needs to be checked. Honestly, this is unbelievable. And you know, recently he's been carrying himself as if he's the owner of the company. Well, um, I admonished um, Sharon to continue with the good words. Yes. 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 Prayers, very important. That's a good one. And then, um, one of these days, I will stop over to see Sharon. Oh, that will be fine. Yeah. Um, from what I saw with this girl, I mean, given that um, she started work just yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, she's going to be a very dedicated and uh, devoted worker. Okay. Yeah, that's what I see. Okay. Watch and see. Yeah. Edmund. <laughs> so that let's leave the office matters. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Tell me. What's happening at the home front? Oh, everything, whatever you want. I trust you. Whatever you want. Why 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 did you barge into my office like that? What's going on with you? What's that look in your eye? I don't understand. What are you talking about? What don't you understand? Listen, you don't belong here. You're leaving this office this place, or I'll be forced to do it myself. Mr. Edmund, you better put that down before you hurt someone. I call this shot here. I decide what you're going to do with this. Can you leave or not? Are you going to leave? Mr. Edmund, get out of my office. What is wrong with you? Jesus, blood of Jesus, I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. What is it? No, it's a bad dream. Bad dream? Horrible one. What happened? What did you see? Mr. Edmond. Edmond, your supervisor. I always knew there was something off about that man. What did he do? I, I saw Mr. Edmond with a knife. A knife? Yes, he was advancing towards me and he wanted to stab me. God forbid! Chineke, Barbara, Jesus, the way I Holy Ghost fire! Holy Ghost fire! He cannot do anything to you. He cannot hurt you. He is not your God. Mom, he almost killed me. If not that I had started running for my life. He was... He did see the mean look in his eyes. Like he transformed into something else. He, he told me he's in charge. And that I won't come from nowhere to spoil things for him. Ashi, ashi. Oh, we ashi. Eh? Because I'm going to report him to my God. The kind of fire he will receive. He will not stand it. Holy Ghost fire destroy him. Holy Ghost fire him. In fact, he cannot do anything. 
to my own child. Huh? I noticed you when you started walking here. I mean, you're so beautiful. I must say this is one of the most beautiful ones I've ever known. Like, you've got the beauty, the right cause in the right places. Mr. Edmund. Oh, well, let me ask you this first. How would you feel, or how do you see the both of us as couples? Please, move over and sit. Thank you. Are you pushing me away? Can you stop this at once? What has come over you? Yo. Yo, is that thing that has come over me? Like, I want you so deep. Can't you see that for yourself? Stop acting older than that. Listen, I've seen women like you in the past, you know, women who want something and they want to pretend over that, you know. But then, let's be realistic. This stuff down there doesn't have me to tell how many persons are facing. I tell you how to use that Edmund. What sort of vile words are this? Listen. For you to continue to work in this office, you must, I repeat myself, you must sleep with me. <laughs> like seriously? I am sure of it. You can laugh for all I care. But I would like to let you know that it's a done deal already. <laughs> Mr. Edmund. <laughs> you really amuse me. So you mean I, Sharon, should sleep with you? Not on your life. Well, I'll be pleased to let you know that that is the only way you can continue to work in this office. Really, Mr. Edmund? The last time I checked, sexual relationship is not a do or die affair. You cannot force or bully me into sleeping with you. I am not bullying you, Miss Sharon. I am only letting you know what is obtainable in this office. If you must continue to work in this office, you must have an affair with me. Nothing changes that. I would rather die than do it with you. Then I will have to force it down your throat or you will be waiting for what is to come thereafter. Is that supposed to be a threat, Mr. Edmund? Then I'm shaking in my boots. I'm, I'm sure you don't know who you're talking with, do you? I can see you've got some guts. Mr. Edmund, if you have been doing this with other ladies, you cannot do it with me. You won't dare. <laughs> You're really bold. You've really got some guts, indeed. You know what, Mr. Edward? Get out of my office. Get out. <sighs> Beautiful soul. You have to do this with me. You know what? I've had enough. Get out. What's that mean? No, you're tweet. Get out. Get out, Mr. Edmonds. Get out. So, I called you here to give you this. 
And what's this? Uh, that's my first salary. Just to say thank you, it's all. This is from my heart, don't get it wrong. Sean, thanks. You're welcome. But no thanks. What? Listen, this is the reward for your hard work for the month. And you want to give it to me? Yes. But I wouldn't have gotten any job if not for you. So it's just a thank you. There'll be more salaries to come. Listen, it's it's not necessary. But I just want to say no, thank. That, that's enough. All right, that's yours. You keep it. All right. I have to get back to work. Oscar. Are you coping, you know, with the job as your dad's PA? <laughs> um, quite challenging, mm. but I'm learning really fast. Mm. Yeah. That's good. I know most of them don't know you are the MD's son. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. No, they don't know. We've been very discreet about it. Yeah. You know, to some, Chief Richard is childless. Yeah. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. That's what you think. How? Why? Yes, as uh, human beings for you. Mm -hmm. you know. um, mm -hmm. Oscar left this country pretty early. Yeah. And since they've not been seeing me with any child, they mm -hmm. thought I am childless. Yeah. Do I really care? Yeah, I mean, I, I wonder why people should concern themselves with other people's affair that doesn't concern them. Right. I mean, I can't figure it out. Um, Mom, something happened. Something very interesting happened. What happened? So the new administrator gave me her one month salary. Hmm? What? Yeah. For you to keep or for you to have? She just asked me to take it. Why would she do that? I have no idea. But she said um, she was only trying to appreciate me for my kindness, blah, blah, blah. Ah, come on. I mean, that is not enough reason for her to relinquish full month's salary. I'm I mean, totally confused. Hope you didn't take it though. Come on, mom. No, I did, <laughs> I did not. Of course, I didn't. I don't understand. I didn't. I, didn't, I mean, I'm supposed to be the the PA to the MD. Mm -hmm. I should be the one giving her money, not mm -hmm. the other way around. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, so no, I, didn't, I didn't take it from her. I just said thanks, but no thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, she's a nice girl, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she is. I haven't met her, though. Yeah, mom, she's really humble. Mm -hmm. She's quite cool. And hard work. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's very brilliant. Mm -hmm. Very brilliant. She looks like a church girl, though. Four months salary. One month. <laughs> what? She's just been grateful, you know? Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Ah. Mom, my dear. Guess what? What? I collected my first salary today. <laughs> wow, yes. baby. Hmm. Hey, <laughs> and guess what I did? What exactly? Well, after removing my tithes from the money, I decided mm -hmm. to give Oscar the rest. You know, as a way of saying thank you for everything he did for me. But guess what he did? What did he do? He rejected it. What? Mm -hmm. 
He did not accept the money from you. Mom, he vehemently stood his ground. <sighs> that, that, that guy is a good guy. He's a nice guy. He's a good guy. He is, Mom. Oscar is a cold-headed guy. Hmm. At least, you have shown him that you are not an ingrate. <sighs> My daughter. Mom. Has he declined the money? I want you to invite him over to the house so I can thank him myself. Mom. Uh-huh. Are you sure that will be necessary? <sighs> yes, no. It's necessary. Okay, that's fine. I'll tell him. You know what? What? One more thing. Ah, mom. That morning, um. I want you to remove your tithe. I mean, 10% of it. So you will give it in the church, oh. Mom. Don't forget. Rest yourself. I did that already. I know, my baby. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, you have been doing it when you are in your service now. How much more this this one? Mom, I feel like the happiest girl in the whole world. But I mean, collecting my best salary, it feels so surreal. Of course, uh, uh, the, the peanuts they pay us at NYC, mm. but this is different. Like, it's right. oops. We haven't prayed. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> no, no, no. You're welcome. Thank you very much. How are your parents? They're doing fine. Uh, they send their regards. Uh, you mean they know you're coming here to visit us? Oh, yes, of course. I, I told them I was coming here. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Welcome, Scott. Oh, thank you, my brother. Kingsley, right? Yes. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm happy to meet you too. Appreciate. Welcome. Appreciate. I, I hope uh, your husband keeps in touch with you. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Right. You over to the house, so I can thank you myself. Thank you so much, my son. You're welcome. God bless you. Pasta, the food is served. Oh, yes. food. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have bothered yourself. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. This is the first time. So you have to eat my food. I made it special for you. Oh, Rico, okay. just go. follow her to the dining. All right, I'll do that. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Chief, what I am saying is that that girl has not worked with us for too long for you to be talking about promoting her. Edmond, what are you talking about? That she has not worked for too long? You are talking about three years here. Yes, I know, three years, Chief. But if you're looking at those to be promoted, Chief, there are too many people in this company that can be promoted. The security man has been here for seven years. The cleaner woman has worked with us for six good years. The coordinator ahead, he has been here as old as this company is. Chief, those are the people who need the promotion and not this one who laces around, praying everywhere. Edmond, as far as I'm concerned, Sharon is the best performer in this company. Her performance is top notch. She deserves a promotion. Chief, I, I don't want you to get me wrong, but I don't think she deserves this promotion. This girl is a lazy person. What does she do in this company that some other person doesn't do? All she does is to pray from here and there. I don't even know if she's planning to turn this place into some kind of prayer hub or prayer mountain. That is the more reason she deserves this promotion. I mean, her prayers have completely transformed this company. Right now, customers are making panegyric statements about her performance already, all because of her. It's not just about the customers, Chief. Because the way you're sounding, you're also singing the panegyric praises about the girl. 
The girl does not do anything special in this company. All she does is just to pray everywhere. I mean, the prayer doesn't work. Chief, please reconsider your stand on this promotion. She does not deserve this promotion. I can write names of people that, you can, that can be promoted. I mean, you can go through them and then you can validate and challenge them. Sharon is a wonderful administrator. She's very, very good. And I'm telling you without missing words, she deserves a promotion. Consider this your position. Please. How they would take advantage of another person. Hey, they are always planning. Always Since you got employed, you have added value to this company. And I must commend you. You have added value to our company, and um, we're very proud of you. But it's quite unfortunate that someone has been taking your glory. I don't understand. Your hard work has been undercover. I still do not understand. Someone in this company has been projecting himself to the MD as someone who does all the work and not you. I can, I can hear a male in between. Like, are you saying it's a he? The person in question wants you out of this office by all means. He's been saying all kinds of terrible things about you. What? As a matter of fact, he's been sitting on your promotion for years. I knew it. Ever since I came into this office, I don't know what I did to anyone. They've been trying to just get me out of here. But what have I done? Well, I don't think it's going to be easy because you're way different from others. He can't treat you like he's treated others. It's going to be very hard for him and that's why he's trying to make it very difficult for you here. So I'll suggest you Ignore all his unprofessionalism and uh, focus on your work. I want to assure you that Mr. Edmund will be exposed very soon. Here. <laughs> My beautiful, wonderful dancer. Hmm. You're welcome home. <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> oh, son. You're welcome. Hi. How, how are was you? work today? I'm work was good. Darling. You okay? You're welcome. <laughs> Dad. Yeah. Why are you all excited? Haven't you seen mom before? Oscar! <laughs> <laughs> this is my baby. Oh, my bad. Tell him. Baby. So it's okay. <laughs> Please leave my husband for right. me. <laughs> mom, I'll quickly freshen up and... Uh, yes, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead, darling. Right. Right. Go ahead. Let me chat with <laughs> my wife for a while. So how are you? I'm good. Good. Darling. Yes. Oscar is past growing into a great son. A very loyal and obedient son. What do you expect? Huh? Mm. He's my son. Mm. A lion begets <laughs> a lion. <laughs> I'm so proud of him. Uh, I'm proud of the seed of my womb. You see, Oscar is a very, very wonderful son. And uh, he will soon take over from me because uh, I'm planning to retire very soon. Yeah, sure. I'm very sure he will do just well. Well, from what I see, 
You are spot on. <laughs> <laughs> you are not far from the truth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so. You know what? Yeah. You go freshen up. Mm. Let me go to the kitchen and fix dinner. Mm. I bet your favorite. I wanted to ask. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, so make sure you call me as soon as you Oh, go. I shall do. Right. I shall do. Okay. <laughs> I knew I, what I, I was saying. I told you. <laughs> and of course, you know, this is not the family thing. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> Saliva is already pouring when I've not tasted it. Are you enjoying the food already? Just let me taste it. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Nice. No. Delicious. <clears throat> Thank you, love. Mm. You know what? Mm -hmm. I love this food. It is um, sumptuously delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Have you forgotten that your wife is the best chef around? Are you telling me? <laughs> it might interest you to know that um, this is one of the main reasons mm -hmm. why I am uh, looking younger. Oh yeah? Right. Mm -hmm. Looking fresh, mm -hmm. right? fresher, mm -hmm. and freshest. I'll be eating your food, <laughs> youngest old man. <laughs> Look at this man. Right. <laughs> she knows I'm a young man. I'm oh my woman. god. <laughs> you know, Oscar. Mom. As a matter of fact, your father was the most handsome man that came when people were coming to seek my hand in marriage. Mm. Wow. Really? Yes, I have to Sudos book up for that. Were, Sudos were filing in. Okay. As soon as he came in, I said to myself, This is him. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> But, but mom, what, what did he do? What, what did he do to win you over? Me? No, no, I don't have to discuss that. <laughs> Look at this boy. You want me to tell you what your father did to win? Oh, no, no, oh. Come on, there's nothing wrong with that, Dad. No, I know my father is a caring man, so. No, he is. Oh, he is. He's going to take good care of you. He is. I am blushing. Oh. I am blushing. No, true, true. And uh, you know, ever since then, I've not had any reason to regret the decision I took then. Oh. <laughs> but I'm impressed that. Thank you. I'm truly impressed. Yeah. Thank you. Love is beautiful. Don't worry. Soon you will find her. Thank you. Mom. Then you will understand why I said what I said. Right. Sweetheart. Mm -hmm. eh? Yeah. Leave my son alone. Right. I mean, until then. Mm. Okay. She's just being a caring okay. mom, Dad. Come on. Oh, okay. That day will come. I give up. Definitely. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> so, my dear. Mama. How is work going on generally? Uh, uh, work is going well. I mean, we just have a few challenges here and there, but we are equal to the task. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Your dad told me you're doing pretty good. Well, yeah, I'm trying. I, I mean, I don't have a choice. <laughs> you don't. That's not that. <laughs> You don't really. <laughs> that you're really enjoying the meal. I say that you're not even talking to anyone. <laughs> Why did I talk? Why did I talk? Right. <laughs> Blood is fresh. Hi. Hi. How are you? Very well, thank you. Um, are you done with the orientation for the new employees? Of course, we I just finished. Oh wow, interesting. So tell me, how did it go? Everything went well. They're quite bright, so I'm sure they'll pick up in no time. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. Have a nice day, Mr. Ed. All right, you too. Mr. Tobu, let's remove our that is what you call yourself as an excuse to sleep around shy with everything in schedule. Ah, 
Mr. Turbulence Remover. Mr. Turbulence Remover. You are just a deceiver. A deceiver. You are a turbulence giver. And not, not a turbulence, turbulence remover. Hi, Mr. Turbulence Remover. Mr. Turbulence Remover. You are just a deceiver. A deceiver. Soon your game will be over. And you will be Dear God, my guardian angel, creator of heavens and earth, please heal Mr. Richard. Heal him of this disease once and for all. Your word says that you will not have the devil. You will not allow him to have the last laugh. But I do not let the devil win concerning Mr. Richard. Save him, O oh God. Heal him from his blood to his veins to every fiber of his being. Let your words saturate him and make him whole. In Jesus' name, Amen. She is a just woman, her heart's a pure and true. She lives a life of honesty and always follows through. She's always true to herself. I'd like to see you in my office immediately. Okay, I'll just shut down my laptop and join you. That's fine. I shall be waiting. Right behind you. Did he enter my office just to stare at me? Edmund, Chief, I hope you remember everything we discussed. I do, Chief. Good. Um, I was traveling for a month on medical vacation, and I expect you and your team to manage this company properly before I return, okay? Um, Chief, there's no cause for alarm. I can comfortably tell you that both staffs and everyone from this company is well behaved. And you know the standards of this company are very high. High level of discipline. Mm -hmm. Everybody must conduct him or herself properly. Alright? Sure, Chief. I also will be addressing the staff tomorrow. Okay? So do well to inform them about the meeting. Sure, I will, sir. Good. If you don't mind, sir, can I go back to my office? It's all right. Thank you, sir. Oscar? Chief. So he wants me to come to his office and listen to him spewing nonsense all over again. Rubbish. There's so much work to do today. Please. He will wait and wait indefinitely. I'm not having this to get this. The immediate supply of this category is beyond the market's value. Who's typing this? This is so wrong. Uh, okay, the constraints surrounding this particular supply is met by the popular demand from Odimba markets. What is all wrong with this girl? I thought I asked this girl called Sharon to come and see me. Eh? Is it Sharon or something? Was I? Sharon, that's her name. That girl doesn't know what she's dealing with. That girl doesn't know I have the ability to deal with her mercilessly. The girl doesn't understand that here in this office, we do things according to hierarchy. You don't know what you're messing with. So it's now that this stupid girl has to come and see me. Come in! Good day, sir. What's wrong with you? I'm asking you! 
Uh, is there any way to respond to my greeting, sir? Oh, spare me the greeting bullshit. What is the matter with you? What's the fuss about, sir? Do you have to keep me here for too long? Do you know how many hours I've been waiting for you in this office? What's going on? Did I do anything wrong? Besides, I, I know the reason you called me was inconsequential and had nothing to do with work. So I decided to stay back, finish my work before coming because I have a lot to do. Anyway, sir, the MD asked me to give you this, so you just append your signature so I can dispatch it immediately, sir. I have a pen, but I'm not signing right away. We must finish the discussion. I sense for you and I know you deliberately decide not to turn up. What is the matter with you? Do you know you regret all of this that you're doing? Please, Mr. Edmund, I will not regret anything. Append your signature. Relationship is not by force. I need to leave this place. Please just sign. Are you ordering me around? I see. You're crying wings. It's okay. The other way, please. Don't order me around. Not I'm not in the best of hands. She's truly grand. Oh, reach What is given this girl? This audacity! What is given this girl? This image! She's just not me! They're just women. Our hearts filled with grief. Come in. And we can nest. She cares only for herself. Good afternoon, Mr. Jeffrey. Please, thank you. Uh, the MD asks that you append your signature right there at the manager's column. All right, make yourself comfortable. Okay, seated. Mr. Jeffrey, what, what's, what's, what's this? What, what, do you th what do you think you're doing? What's this? My elegant Sharon. Mr. Jeffrey, please, you're too close for comfort. What if someone badges in on us? The person will just have another idea in mind, thereby thinking something is going on, and I wouldn't want that, please. If something is going on between both of us, I don't think that is a problem. Can you just stop this already? Please. I've told you I do not want this, so put an end to it. Sharon, I don't understand. Why are you acting like a child? Why? Meaning what exactly, Mr. Jeffrey? Meaning what? Sharon, I've always wanted you right from the very first day you got employed in this firm. And I've told you also that relationship is not by force. Really? Sharon. Don't you think that you've been in this level for solid three years now without promotion? This tale is all about you scratch my back and I scratch your back. Get it? Mr. Jeffrey, you can keep your promotion. Mm -hmm. And I believe God will promote me in due time. Okay? Please, can you as well just append your signature? Let me get out of this office, please. You are the biggest joker. I must have what I want. But the unjust woman, her heart's filled with greed and wickedness. She cares only for herself and do whatever she please with recklessness. She lies. She cheats and she
What is wrong with all these men? Why are they so hell bent on having carnal knowledge with me? <sighs> what do I do now? I think it's high time I report them to the board. No, no, that's too easy. I just handle this my own way. So whatever brings you, make sure it is brief and concise, okay? Okay, Chief. Um, Chief, here's the thing. Um, I actually drove to the house to get you something. You see, many years ago, when my father was having eye problems, someone recommended this to my father. And after using it, the eye problem disappeared. I bet you if you use it, the eye problem will disappear. Really? Yes, Chief. You see, Chief. Eye surgery is 50-50. You're not even sure about the success. And instead of you jeopardizing your health because you don't know what might come out of it, I would then advise you try this. It might just work just the way it worked to my father. It's a very good product. You like it. Well, I, I must thank you for your concern. But uh, the Indians, they are the best soldiers in the world. Yeah, Chief, I agree with you, but I, I, I wouldn't advise you embark on surgery because sometimes you don't even know how successful this is going to be. And the truth of the matter is you don't even know what the devil has in store for you if you go for the surgery. So instead of you endangering your life, I would then advise you go with the product. It worked for my father, and I'm sure it's going to work for you. Give it a try, Chief. You'll like it. It's all right. Um, thank you very much. I really appreciate this, okay? You're welcome, Chief. All right. Sir, the car is set. It's all right, right. okay? Um, Chief, yeah. don't forget, you will say bye bye to surgery if you try anything. No problem. All right, sir. I will always remember this, okay? You're welcome, sir. Thank, thank you. Thank you, sir. Sorry to bother you. Um, Anything? Can I pray with you? I, I was led in my spirit to pray for you. Pray for me? Yes, Chief. Hmm. Okay, well, where I came from, we don't uh, we get there. So go ahead. Can I hold your hand? Oscar? Chief. For this one. Oh, that's fine. Uh, well, Oscar, Chief, you mind joining us in the prayers? Uh, Chief, uh, that's fine. You, you can go ahead, sir. I'll just wait for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. everlasting King of glory, we thank you for your son, Chief Richards. Thank you for his life. Thank you for his health. Father, today we commit his health into your evil hands. Amen. I ask for your healing power upon his life in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I curse every spirit of cataracts from the roots. I curse every spirit of blindness. Amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, every plan of the enemy to eventually take his life is hereby annulled in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, every... She is a just woman. Her heart's so pure and true She lives a life of honesty <sighs> And always Father, follows through I glorify your name in the life of Chief Richards Lord, 
Show him that those that be with him are far greater than those that may rise against him. Father, do not let him die. He's a good man and a believer. Please, God, save him. I feel goosebumps all over. What is going on? This is the same feeling I had the very first day I stepped my feet in this company. Gross darkness overs around this place. But darkness can never overpower light. Light has come to stay. For light shines upon the darkness, and darkness comprehends it not. And who is he that said and it come to pass when God has not commanded it? No one. For Christ's light is here to stay. And I speak the healing power of Christ upon him. And I decree light upon his life. In Jesus' name, amen. What's that? It's an eye drop. Oh, okay. You bought it from him? No. Oh. He brought it to the office and uh, he recommended that I should use it. Have you used it already? No. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, Dad. Hmm? You said someone gave you this to use? Yes. It has an awful smell. The odor is really bad. Oh. Nah. Really? Yes, yes, yes. I think we should take it to the doctor for him to have it checked. In that case, uh, let us head straight to the hospital before going home. So I'll go straight to the hospital, yeah? Yes. Okay. Wow. That's really bad. It's, uh, the smell is really awful. Jesus. Thank God I told you. Okay, so let's go have it checked then. Okay. Wow. You're a very useless man. Don't say anything here. You don't like coming for meeting. Are you mad? Are you stupid? What's wrong with you? Get out! And you go to the toilet, change your clothes, and wear something sexy. Some people are very strange. All they do is arrange how they will take advantage of another person. Hey. They are always planning, always plotting, manipulating. Yes, what is it? What are you doing here? What kind of stupid question is that? Can you see what I'm doing? I'm trying to fix the office. With pies strewn everywhere. What's your business with that? Can't I fix the office? Miss Enno, you have not even allowed the MD to leave. You're here searching his things. What is wrong with you? Can you stop sounding there, okay? What is you? What exactly do you want? Leave me alone. Miss Edmund, please leave the Ellis office right now. Leave. You're asking me to... Leave or else I'll have to call his wife. Leave now, Mr. Edmund. Leave. Can I take my phone?
Amen. Amen. It's a trance. Another revelation concerning Mr. Edmund. This Mr. Edmund is evil. That guy needs to be checked. So he attacks me because I was praying for chief. It's obvious. He has a hand in Chief's health. Mm -hmm, he does. But I trust God because he told me that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will save the Lord. He's my strength. He's my refuge. In him will I trust. <laughs> a thousand shall fall at my side. Ten thousand at my right hand. It will not come near me. He's too small because I trust in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Take it easy, you know. What is this world turning into, Oscar? This is unbelievable, yeah. incredible. Absolutely. My wife needs to hear about this. I need to tell her. Well, Dad, you need to calm down. You need to take things easy. It's important. Let this go inside. But you have to take it easy. Okay? Yeah. This is incredible. I can't comprehend why Edward would want me dead. What? Could you believe that that stupid idiot gave me poison for an eye drop? Yeah. That is right. Hey. Yes, Mom. Edmond tried to poison Dad. But Dad was so lucky, he didn't use the eye drop before the doctor confirmed it was a poisonous substance. Jesus Christ, what's the meaning of this? And Dr. Amos said that that poisonous substance is capable of making one blind on application. What? Oscar, is that true? Yes. Dad, Sharon is God sent. I believe her wholeheartedly. And I think she's going to be very useful to our company. We need to retain her, Dad. You know what? Hey. Edmund is fired. Uh -huh. No, Dad. Mom, I don't think that's a good idea. I, I know you're upset. I know you're angry. I know you're getting too emotional. But Dad, you need to control your anger right now. I strongly believe there's a reason for his action and we need to find out, we need to unravel it. So I suggest you act like everything is fine, you pretend that like nothing happened, you act like you used the eye drop. Let's see how he feels about it, Dad. Yes, I agree with you, Dad. Yes, ma'am. Darling, I think Oscar is right. Just pretend. pretty obvious that he connived with the manager to get me out of my office simply because I refused to sleep with any of them in his dreams. I refused to give in no matter what. I'd rather die. If he likes, let him continue to sit on my promotion. But I trust the God that I serve. In due time, he will show Edmund that he is the greatest 
and that he shows mercy to whom he will show mercy. Miss Sharon, is everything okay? You can talk to me. What is eating you up? Um, Miss Sharon, you can actually talk to me, okay? What is it? What's eating you up? I'm fine. You are not fine, and you know it. <sighs> Nini, I'm an adult, and I just told you I was fine. It must mean that I am fine. Thank you. Okay, if you say so. I was only looking out for you. Thank you for looking out for me. You're always welcome. Miss Sharon, are you sure you don't want to talk to anyone? You, you can always talk to me, you know. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. Did you say so? Mm -hmm. Hello. splitting a headache. It feels like I've been hit by a sledgehammer. Ooh. Oh, so sorry about that. Mm. Have you had something for it? Not at all. <sighs> I guess you're overworking yourself. You need to take a break. You think so? Yeah. <sighs> well, I think so too. Maybe it's just work. It has to do with work? Yes, it's about work. Something bothering you? I think someone in this office is trying to frustrate me. And who's that? Never mind. It's fine. Sharon. Don't forget, I brought you here. Do you want to talk about it over lunch? No, I'm not hungry. Thank you. Are you sure? I'm fine. <laughs> Listen, I must tell you the truth. Of all the women I've had in this company, you are the best. Really? Oh, yeah, sure. I just want to tease you. Why would I tease you? Listen, I've tested virtually all the women in this company and I must say you are the bomb amongst them all. Are you kidding me now? I mean... You mean you do this with virtually all the girls in this company? Not just all the girls. I've had virtually all the girls indeed. Except for one who is proving hard to get despite her marital status. And who is that? Who else? Mrs. Bianca. That one. I thought you were going to say Sharon. Please have a moment. Wait, which which Sharon? The one who is playing hard to get. I don't think there's anything in between her legs. <laughs> Seriously. She's born again now. What do you expect? Which born again? <laughs> do you know I caught that Mrs. Bianca sleeping with the manager the other day? Wait. Beg, 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 beg. Are you sure about what you just said? Do I look like I'm kidding? I'm serious. I caught them. <laughs> that means it's time for me to have my own car. Oh. <laughs> you are Mr. Jeffrey sleep with anything in skirts. Uh, why would you say that? We don't sleep with anything in the skirt. I mean, you know, there are things that if you don't do, as the work ethics, it will begin to cause turbulence on the way. So whatever we're doing, we're fixing the turbulence on the way. Can't you see you? Aren't you shining? I think you guys making me look beautiful. Yeah, because I've taken away the turbulence in you. Oh, please. Oh, that reminds me. Um, I've actually 
had that smolly that works in the factory. You know the smolly now. What smolly are you talking about? Oma, we shot him. Oh my, of course, the yes. short cover one. Oh my, oh, that happened yesterday. You're kidding me. You're kidding, right? <sighs> no, tell me you're kidding. Wait, isn't she a woman? Isn't she beautiful? She's nice. She's class. Sharon. Yeah. What I'm about to say right now is for your ears only. No okay. one else. Okay. What is it? The surgery wasn't carried out anymore. What? Yes. I mean, who told you? You have added so much value to this company since you got here. Your prayers are working. I mean, the morning prayers you started has changed a lot of things in this office. I don't get it. So, the MD had jetted out to India, you know, for the surgery. On getting there, certain tests were, you know, were performed and everything was normal. Jesus! Yes. What God cannot do does not exist. Exactly. What a mighty God we serve. I knew you would do it, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Exactly. Oh, God. It clearly shows that the money prayers has done a lot of good for <laughs> us. Although a lot of people don't like it. And they want it stopped, but it can't be stopped. They cannot stop it. They will try, yet they will keep failing. Ah, thank you, God. And you have to be very careful. Mr. Edmond has written a lot of uh, petition against you, and he wants the morning prayers to stop. But we told him it can't be stopped. You were telling me something about the MD. Just forget about Mr. Edmond. So he's fine now? Yes. You mean perfect. He's doing okay. Wow, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You're wonderful, Lord. I thank mean, you. your prayers <laughs> took away the possibilities of him going blind. God alone did it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And, thank you. Sharon, mm -hmm. the company is very proud of you. The MD and his entire family, they speak very well of you. The glory belongs to God. Thank you. Now I understand why the MD's wife came to see me the other day. It's all beginning to make some sense. Here yeah, I was thinking that the Thanksgiving service Chief and his family held in their church on Sunday was because of a successful surgery. No. Um, the surgery wasn't necessary anymore. Because the eye problem, you know, has all gone away. Oh, God. You're just too much. Ah, may your name be praised. And you heard what the supervisor did? Yet he allowed it. You need to calm down. Something tells me you're going to laugh at last. If it's about me, I'm fine. You need to calm down. Everything is going to be fine. But I must commend your, your courage. I admire your courage and your patience. It's not a problem. I'm fine, trust me. That's the spirit. Mrs. Bianca, what is your problem for crying out loud? Why can't you give me this stuff? See, let's do this thing. Let's start doing it. You will never regret it. I will give it to you on one condition. I'm listening. That you fasten my promotion. Try. Mr. Turbulence Remover That is what you call yourself 
as an excuse to sleep around shy with everything in ghetto ha ah. Mr. Turbulence remove Mr. Turbulence remove You are just a deceiver A deceiver You are a turbulence giver If the promotion is what you want Consider it done Are you sure? Listen to me Promotion is one of the easiest things I can make to happen in this company Somebody may just badge in us. This is rather compromising, you know. Don't worry, uh, you can just give me a kiss. I'm, I'm, I'm not really comfortable here. This is not. Okay. This is an office. So, Somebody like we, just we, us. We, 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 we should do something like that. <laughs> You are just a deceiver. A deceiver. You are a turbulence giver. And not, not a turbulence remover. Hi, Mr. Turbulence Remover. Mr. Turbulence Remover. You are just a deceiver. A deceiver. Soon your game will be over. And you will become Mr. Turbulence Receiver. Hey. So did that go this way? Good. So the dancer continued. Who was that? That devil. Who? Sharon! Oh my god. Sharon. Did she say anything? Oh, what kind of problem is this? Are you sure she's the one? Shit! I told you! Hey, but relax yourself! Hey, hey! hey you told me and I thought you that the door was locked! What was that for? What has been going on in this office? And who knows? For how long? Let's go before we start it. Come on. I told you. I, I, I told you. Look at that. She, she, she has seen us. I, I told you that so so might come here and, and see us. Yeah. It's okay. Is it a promotion you want? See, if you want promotion, you better do the needful to get promoted. I don't like these things. How will I walk, walk around this office with, with my hair side and, and then my nose in the hair? How will I do it? Eh? At the same time, you want your promotion. This is, this is what all women do. Most women you see that get promoted here and there. This is what they do in their offices. So chill, man. Let's write this. You are, just so, you are so shameless. Sure, you can say that again. Uh, what's your problem? Uh, you know what we'll do? Um, we can book somewhere else for this. The supervisor. Oh my god. What is this world turning into? They were busy groaning in pleasure. They didn't even notice my presence. What if it had been the MD? What would they have done? God. Mr. Edmund and Mr. Jeffrey sleeps with different women in this office with reckless abandon.
promoting them while I remain on the same level. And it's been this way for years. God, please have mercy. You have to retype that. The MD complained that it had too many typographical errors. Even I couldn't read it. I will do it when I get back. I need to go for lunch now. At least take a look at it first. When I get back, please. Hello, darling. Where? Let's say I'm driving down to downtown guest house. I'll see you soon. Okay. What well, can I take you for something? Please don't keep me waiting. I'll see you soon. See you later. Uh, when I get back, you can go. Shameless woman. She couldn't even wait to go be in the arms of a lover. I'm working on. I'll soon be done. Oh, it's great. You know, I thought to stop over at a restaurant to get you something to eat or to get my sunshine something to eat. But I wanted to ask you first. Why did you just call me? That's what you are, my sunshine. Oscar, I hope you're not trying to ask me out. Because I am sick of the level of Immorality going on in this office. Immorality, you say? As if you don't know. <sighs> Sharon, I'll advise you to mind your business. Even if you observe something in this office, act as though you don't know. So you know everything that is happening, yet you chose to keep quiet about it, even as a PA to the MD? I tried to mind my business. Why do I get this feeling that you're scared of them? Like I said, I try to mind my business because I don't want to lose my job. I, I don't get it. This is, this is an office. There's supposed to be some level of decorum, orderliness in this establishment. Well, I want to believe they don't know that. They don't know professionalism. Yeah. <sighs> Sharon. 
What would you like for lunch? I need to finish this. Oh man, this is sad. You've you've you demolished everything. You've taken away the turbulence in my life. <laughs> you're ah. so you're so strong, super strong. Like not not ever. That my stupid husband. Two seconds. Uh, ah, really? That two seconds is done. So that means the man is not going to remove turbulence. Ah, <laughs> you, you just took my breath away. I can't ah. even catch my breath. Like I'm tired and exhausted. <sighs> I think at this junction I'm going home. Like I'm not going back to the office. You're not, you're not even going anywhere. We're <laughs> going to be here for another time. I'm just joking. <sighs> <sighs> My hair is pulling out. Oh, goodness. <sighs> so you're still this strong <sighs> after two kids? Yes. Uh, oh, and I'm man. so tight, yeah? You're sweet, <laughs> man. <laughs> what? Oh my god. What? <sighs> In fact, I Where's my panties? Your, your, your panties? You flick them away. I don't know, man. Probably they're in the office. <laughs> ah, oh my! Come on, give me this. Come on. I want more of you. Mm. Oh my goodness! <sighs> you know what? What? What is it? What is it? it it's late. I need, I need to leave. Oh really? Yes. Oh, sorry. Okay, um, where's my, okay, just go with them, I'll, I'll catch up with you, okay? Yeah. Um, I'm coming, eh? You know your break time and mine is not the same. Oh, God. This is crazy. Oh, my goodness. What am I thinking? Oh, no, 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 I should be going with that, really. I should be going with that, really. Yes, Chief. You both left this company by 1 p.m. For a one hour break, but returned by 3 p.m. Is there any plausible explanation for this? Act of lateness by both of you. Um, Chief, I am very sorry this happened. I lost track of time, but I can tell you this will not happen again. I'm sorry about this. Edmund. Chief. You've been working for this company for some years now. And you are supposed to be aware that the company does not take kindly to this kind of lackadaisical attitude that you are putting up. You leave this company at will and you return any time you like. This is unacceptable. No, no, Chief, please. Like I said, I lost track of time. I am deeply sorry this happened, but I can guarantee you it will not repeat itself again. It will happen again. Of course it will not happen again. And you, Bianca. Yes, Chief. Did you go home to breastfeed your newborn baby? Um, I'm so sorry, Chief. Something was about to go wrong in my house that needed my audience attention, so I had to go sort it out. I'm, I'm so sorry, sir. Your lack of concentration is beginning to have a toll on your performance in this company. You type all sorts of things, garbage and dump on my table. I end up giving it to someone else to complete before I sign. This, your lack of concentration, is unacceptable. I'm so sorry, sir. What is your position in this company, Bianca? I'm the secretary, sir. Secretary. And you abandon your job? You don't do the work given to you and you leave them for Sharon to do? 
Sir, I, I never asked her to do my job for me. I only told her that I would do the corrections once I get back from break. But did she tell you that this particular agreement is needed urgently by me? Yes, she did, sir. She did? I don't know what to do to both of you right now. Get out of my sight. We're sorry, Chief. Get out. We're sorry. I want to understand the name of the ones that did me. How could you talk to me like that? <laughs> this is not why I'm here. In case you have forgotten, Mrs. Bianca, there's hierarchy in this office. And this is a very unconventional way to badge in on your superior. Superior, my foot! Like my foot! Mrs. Bianca, say whatever you need to and just leave because I have so much work that I need to attend. I came to give you a staunch warning. Sharon, stay off my business. Stay put in your office and do your business. Mind your freaking business. Do not do my job for me. I did not ask you to do it. What oh, is your stupid attitude here? You rubbish. Enough, Mrs. Bianca. Enough! This is where I draw the line. Aren't you even ashamed of yourself? You left your work to go be in the arms of another man. And how is that your freaking business? Does it affect your life? I'm asking you. Mrs. Bianca, I caught you in the arms of another man. You should be ashamed of yourself. And why should I be ashamed of yourself? <laughs> Am I the first to do that? Or you just want to be ignorant? I'm asking you a question. For the fact that everybody is doing it does not make it right. Wake up! Evil is evil. You are a married woman. Therefore, you should carry yourself with dignity. But I guess you don't have any, do you? I am here to give you the peace of my mind, Sharon. <laughs> do not cross my part. Stay put in your Mind! It's my body and not yours. I use it the way I want to use it. Mind your business. You know what? Listening to you talk, I actually feel ashamed for you. You know what? I weep for your husband. And you shall keep weeping. That's your portion. Tears is what you say. Do you understand? <laughs> Mind your business. Else! Mrs. Bianca, leave my space right now. I will not warn you again. Do not start what you cannot finish. You are chewing more than you can swallow. And it will, it will hold your children and keep you. Be careful of me. To what? This woman is so shameless. Look at her. Oh my word. What is this world turning into? This generation. I have been thinking. I am not sure what Chief has used the eye drop I gave him. What's going on? If he had used it by now, he should be blind heading to his grave. All I want is just an opportunity on how to sell this company since he doesn't have a child of his own. I can't lose this. No, I can't lose this. <laughs> Thank you, mommy. I know you will like it. Mm -hmm. It's your favorite uh, vegetable soup. Of course. Mm -hmm. I took after dad. He also loved vegetable soup and Gary rice. Mm. 
I remember those years. I missed my husband so much. <laughs> those years. <laughs> just go to the market, mm -hmm. get good love, mm -hmm. ask me to make vegetable soup for him. Tell me, who would you miss if not your husband? <laughs> you can have blushing. <laughs> Mom. And yes, I also remember, you know, back then that dad would eat a lot of meat. He loved meat alone. In fact, he loved to eat more meat than the food itself. And I understand when he went bankrupt, he couldn't handle it. I think that really hit him hard. Yes, my daughter. Your daddy is God's favorite. That is the reason God made a way for him through my younger brother Jude. Jude came back from US and saw your daddy's state. He took him. I thank God for his life. Mm. He's the best dad in the whole wide world. He's so persistent, he's resilient. You know, that taught me to be strong, independent, never to give up, always hold on. I learned so much from that. And I'm glad I have him as my father. Your daddy is a Christian to call. You can say that call. again. This way you buy it last from Black Miami. So how is work? Ah, or or what is it? Any problem? It's me. Morgan, what is it? It's me, your husband. It's you, your hush, 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 husband. Are you blind? This thing you are seeing here now is not bridge. This is bridge. Divided Red Sea. Leave it here. Don't, don't, don't cross your band. Stay there. This is my side. Stay in one place. Don't, don't disturb you. Honey. Don't even touch me. Honey, honey, honey. Please now. Eh? Eh? Just, just small. Just help me. What's eh? please? Please, no. what is it? Baby, just, just to fall on. Hey, go fall on. What is it? Just, just to fall on. Wait, wait, wait. Convulsion, epilepsy. You just, a drag it down. If like, let's just scatter. I want to rest. Don't stress me. Don't touch me. What is that? If they allow you now, you can't do anything. One child romance you cannot do. Half second man. Only get me. Only the mere. Nothing. Don't stress me. Don't even stress me. Baby, baby, what? But you always ask for this now. What have gone over you? Eh? Who? Me? How? When? Explain it. Just once now. Just Respect yourself. You can see this is so deep. Yeah, but why get a trust? Let it destroy your life. I'm not interested. Don't touch me. No. Don't touch me. Baby. 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 What's that? This is my right. Eh? Yes. I'm your husband. Yes. Show me the court order. It's your rights. Property owned. I'm not okay? Don't, 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 don't touch me. Swagging. Don't touch me. Oh. Oh, baby, 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 I'm tired of a CW uniform. You no, don't like it, I don't see it. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't. Uh, 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 Jesus. No, 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 sense, man. Touch me again now. If you touch me, yeah, if you near me now, you swag again. Swag again me now. Who's this man? Mom, 
My office now has an equal rating with Sodom and Gomorrah. Hmm. How do you mean? Simply because I refuse to give in to their sexual advances. The manager and the supervisor connived and moved me out of my office as soon as the MD left to India into the staff's office. But I'm not perturbed. Mm -mm. They can't, they, they, they won't get to me. Uh -uh. It is very, very shameful for all this to be happening in that your office. Under the director's nose and he does not know about it. Hmm. Mom, if I open this my mouth, to tell you the atrocities going on in that office, you'll be amazed. <laughs> the supervisor and the manager, they are busy changing women as if they are changing their underwears. Mom, earlier today, the supervisor invited me to his office to spew nonsense as usual, but I turned him down. Mm -hmm. A few hours later, I barged into his office only to catch himself and Mrs. Bianca, the company's secretary. <laughs> Mom, just take your time to imagine it. I don't want to say it, but it was horrible seeing them together like that. Mom. I, 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 I fe <sighs> Hi. I can't even say it. It's too heavy for me to say. Ah, no, 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 no. My daughter, let me ask you. This uh, woman, Bianca, is she a married woman? She is. To fear one. Mm -hmm. As a buyer. As if that was not enough. <laughs> when I caught them, they quickly made an appointment and left the office during break time. Mm -hmm. They went to sleep with each other and came back at about 3 p.m., mom. 3 p.m. What? Mm -hmm. After receiving a whole lot of queries, the shameless Mrs. Bianca barged into the staff's office to throw vile words at me, insulted the living daylight out, out of me, then proceeded to even threaten my life, mom. That shameless woman, that shameless she goat. Then where do you fare? You need to see the way this lady carries herself. She carries herself as if she's the most sophisticated and beautiful, God-given whatever to this generation, mom. <laughs> But I won't deny. Um, she's beautiful. But come on, mom. What beauty? As far as I'm concerned, she is the most ugliest woman, ugliest creature walking under the surface of earth. Oh, what a beauty, are they? Oh, the 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 What's so beautiful? Mom, she's actually pretty. Truth be told, she is. Hmm. Bianca! 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 Bianca, listen. You are my wife. And I demand you to allow me to perform my conjugal rights. You owe me as a husband! Do you hear me? Bianca! Are you okay? You are asking me, am I okay? Because you are sick. Like what BP? See your face. Yanke! Yanke! You just die! And I'll not wear white, I'll wear black for you. Yeah, yeah! Sure, sure, sure. But yeah, let me ask you one sincere question. Since we married ourselves, have you ever in your miserable life made people scream your name by mistake? Oh, I you by mistake. Have I ever no? Come on, come on, come on, Cloud9. Yeah, I'll give I have not entered. You can't, you can't do anything. You can't photo. You can't cuddle. You can't even let your FLA. Clever, you can't do anything. Oh, God. Don't. If you touch me again, I will change that for you. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Bianca, listen. I'm ready to perform everything. Eh? Even here, I'm ready. Even here, anyhow, as you want it this night. I'm ready. I'm ready. Don't touch me. Mr. Ready, if you touch me, I look at Megan. Don't even touch me. Don't even dare. This is my right. This is my right, Bianca. 
It's your right. It's your right, Bianca. Um, what kind of rest, man? Since you are mad, if you touch me, I'm a tomaka. I look at Meg this night. Don't touch me. Bianca, so you want to deny me my God-given right? Hey, hey. Huh? God, in fact, let me advise you, Uncle. Go and read books. Watch porn. No, no. Watch blue films. Create films where man and woman is doing some things. Go and watch them and learn. Until then, don't come close to me. In Wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Let me understand this. You are advising me, your husband, to start watching uh, pornography. Yes, yes. Go and watch it. Watch blue film. Don't be pornography. That's what you're going to make yourself. Watch blue film. Jesus. Je Jesus, spell it. Is it just saying This is my first time to hear from a woman, a married woman, advising her husband to start watching Pono. Pono! It's not Pono, it's blue film. Pono, that's why you are, you are an immature. Bianca Pono! You are an amateur. You are not matured, you are not sexy, you are not romantic, you are not anything. It, it is so boring. Uncle, you are so boring. A boring man cannot work here. Get out. Don't touch me. No. This is really getting out of hand. <gasps> Bianca, are you not supposed to be in the morning devotion? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> is it by force? It is compulsory in this office for all of us to go to the morning devotion before anything is done. Hey. Sorry, sir, MD. We head done. It is Kakasi with your coconut head. Uncle, I am very busy with work. Just do our battle and get on this place. That work can wait till after the devotion. Okay, you employ me here, Abby. No, no, to ask you now. No problem. I'm going to report you to the MD as soon as he comes to office. Go, go, get, get on this place. See your possibility. You can't wear your shirt. You're, you're looking hard, haggard, and stupid with your bushy hair. You're looking sick. Get out of this place. What's this up? No problem. I'm going to report you to the MD as soon as he comes in. Come, 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 come now! Ah, ah. Wait, don't go! Wait! Come, my brother, come! Don't report me, please, now. Don't, 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 don't report me, I'm begging you. What do you want? Is it, is it Uber? Taxify. Which one do you want? I can oh. see you are not ready. Don't oh, you want, you, no, you want to play? Idiot. Are you gay? Fool. Devotion will kill you, dear. Leave devotion. He, she. You're speaking in tongues. All right, just turn, turn behind me and take you. Let me take you. I want to speak in tongues right now. Get out of there. You just give me. Oh, shit. I want to speak in tongues now. I, I will give it. <laughs> <laughs> we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Thank you for this great company that you've Thank you for giving us employment. 
Thank you for giving us a roof over our heads. Thank you for each and every one of us in this country. Thank you for the MD. Thank you for his family. Thank you for Rich Moore in general. But I said, be thou exalted in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Father, you are in heaven. You said, if we commit our ways into your evil hands, we shall be the Lord of the land. Therefore, Lord Jesus, today we are committing our work here today into your evil hands. We are asking for speed. Give us knowledge. Give us understanding. Yeah. Give us the grace to do better yeah. than yesterday. Yeah. Amen. Oh, Lord Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Fruitful and productive today. Yeah. Amen. Oh, Lord Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Every contract we set out to get today, Father, we are getting it. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We are handling so many accounts today. Yeah. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Oh, Holy Spirit of the living God. We put you before and after us. In the name of our Lord yeah. Jesus. You know you're so sweet. <laughs> I mean, how can I have enough of you? It's Come impossible when you're not alright. What's, what's going on? They're showing the grace already. Oh, they're showing the grace? Mm -hmm. Come here, come here. This is an office. Please, please. We should not be caught again. Mm -hmm. I'll let you go, but on one condition. I'll see you during the break time. But you're going to leave in one condition. What? Give me a kiss. Ah. You should stay in your face, my face. Ah, that's true, that's true. That's true. I'll blow your kiss. Alright, I'm going to see you later. You bad boy. Oh, you Get up. Get up. You are just a deceiver. A deceiver. You are a I will continue to remove the turbulence in your lives. No, not a turbulence remover. Hi. Mr. Turbulence Remover, Mr. Turbulence Remover, you are just a deceiver. Good morning. Uh, please, here's the proposal. So please make sure you type it within 20 minutes before the end day gets here. Also, make sure there are no typographical errors. We read it before we get it across to him. I am talking to you, BM. I'm not deaf. I heard you the first time. Whatever. <laughs> Make sure it's done within 20 minutes. Just to make this fool. Not doing me around. Let it write books. Good, Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. How's your family? Everybody's fine. Good. You're yeah, welcome. Sir. Thank you. Yeah, Edmund. Please come to my office. Oscar? Chief. How are you? I'm good, sir. Yeah. Okay, uh, place a call to Mr. Anayo of a ball plastic. All right. At Um Let him know how much you are offering. Okay. Uh, does he have a factory in Onicha? I thought it was Lagos. Oscar? Oh. Oh, it's fine. I'll do that. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> Chief, you sent for me. Oh yes, I did. How are you? Well, as you can see, Chief, I'm fine. 
How was your night? Thank God. My night was really good, Chief. Good. Please sit. Thank you, Chief. Now tell me, how many people did not uh, attend this morning's devotion? I don't understand, Chief. What don't you understand? I mean, it's a simple question. How many people absented themselves from this morning's devotion? Is that not a simple question? I mean, it's a kindergarten stuff. But, but, but Chief, I, I was thinking that question should be directed to Sharon, not me. I mean, Sharon is the one who conducts the morning devotion. Yeah, Sharon, please come to my office immediately. Yeah. Miss Sharon, yeah. I guess that was the end. Yes, and it's super urgent. Do you know why he's calling you? I wouldn't know except I get to his office. I'll be right back. Okay. Something is telling me it's because of the absence of Mrs. Bianca and Edmund during the morning devotion. What are you even talking about? Everyone in this office knows that Mr. Edmund has never partaken in early morning devotion. Maybe if you see him, you ask him. Okay. <clears throat> Chief, you sent for me. Yes, I did. I asked you to note the names of those who absent themselves from money devotion. Did you do that? I did, Chief. So who are those that absented themselves? The supervisor and the company secretary. Edmond? Chief. Are you by any means saying that as at 8 o'clock this morning you were not at work? Chief, I was at work before 8 o'clock. I just feel money devotion is personal and it's not something that should be tied to people compulsory. really. People should do their prayers the way they want to do it and not, not make it look as if it's forced to attend one in the office. Says who? Edmond. So. Money devotion is compulsory in this company. Okay? And the earlier you abide by that rule, the better for you. Bianca, see me in my office. Chief, you called me. Why did you absent yourself from morning devotion today? I, Chief, I was busy with work. You're busy with work? Yes, Chief. Now, both of you, get it into your heads that morning devotion is compulsory in this company. And anyone who absents him or herself from the morning devotion as instituted by Sharon in this company, will have me to contend with. Is that understood? Yes, Chief. Y yes, Chief. Good. Now get out. Leave my office. Sharon? Yes, Chief. I want to thank you for introducing this, I mean, money devotion into this company, okay? Um, I cannot overstate the effect of this exercise in my life. Okay? Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Chief. Um, let me get back to the office. That's fine. Have a good day, Chief. You too. Chief, you guys do not know 
what is going on? Hey! What is going on? Radio without battery. Timothy, why are you attacking me? Eh? How is whatever that is going on at the end of this office supposed to be my problem? How? We should be asking you that. Look at the way you just barge into the office like a criminal. Peggy, change. Leave gossip, make gossip leave you. Um, what is that your name again? Nini or whatever you call yourself. Are you in any way trying to call me a gossip? Are you? Madam, you are distracting us. You can see we are busy working. If you don't have any work to do, just get out. Hey, no one is talking more. What? Um, Miss Sharon, it's like you don't have anything to share with us. Busy body. Since you don't have anything to share with us, let me just, let me just mind my business. No, don't mind your business. Keep on talking, cho 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 cho. Look Can at this just one. Stop all of this and concentrate on our work, please. Sorry for you, Peggy. Sorry for yourself. Look at this one. Olodo. What kind of a human being is this? See, Miss Sharon just said, mind your business. Did you hear? You are shouting. This is an office. You're shouting. Gosh. Yeah, yeah, okay. You talk. Can you just let Sharon be? Leave Sharon out of this. No. I won't. That stupid girl beats me on my head without mind the hairs on my head. I will bite her on her bum bum without mind the face is coming up on that place. I think you're wrong. Listen, Sharon was not the one that reported us to the chief. As a matter of fact, the chief was the one who called for Sharon's attention, demanding he tells uh, she should tell him who and who was absent during the devotion. And that's how Sharon went ahead and named you and I. So please, this has something to do with Sharon. Why are you having BP? I don't understand. No, of course you can understand. Why are you agitated? Hey. Oh really? I see now that you're on the side of that stupid girl, right? Oh, please don't insult Are you sleeping with her? Oh, you're asking if I'm Yes, I'm asking you. Okay, as so a matter of fact, if you're asking that question, this is the right thing I should be telling you. Well, let me tell you this. Um, Sharon is one girl I've been thinking of having. Like, the thought of that girl drives me crazy. I can't wait to hold that girl in my arms to take away the turbulence in her life. I want to have Sharon in my hands. I want to grab her to myself. Sometimes I feel like, oh my goodness. You know, one thing about that girl, <coughs> she's not a cheap harlot. I've done everything possible to see how I can get into her, but she's seen my body. And I wouldn't stop until I get out of my bed. I'm serious about it. Oh, really? She's not like the older girls. She's not an harlot. Absolutely. I love Yes. I'm crazy about this. And I, I can see. So, right before me, Edmund, you're calling me a loose woman and an harlot. No, 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 no. Please, that's not what I'm saying. Listen, hey, yeah, listen. Look at you. I mean, you're sexy, you're beautiful, you're everything a woman should be. That's not having kids. Yeah, you're beautiful. That is what you have to say. That's what all you want from me, right? The sexy. In it. But let me say something to you. I'm going to meet that stupid girl right now and give her the peace of my mind. You're mistaken. Hey, hey. I am not part of this. I am not part of what you're going to do right now. I know where to get them from. 
Let this be the last time, the first and last you will do so stupid things again. Hey, hey, hey. Yes? Hey, hey, what's going on here? This is not a marketplace, is it? What's wrong? And who is this? I beg your pardon? You beg my what? Shush it. You ordinary PA. You come on, PA. You dare ask me questions. Silly questions. Listen. Do not dare. Don't try it. Really? And you. The next time you do such, I will hit you so hard that you will think something else is on your head. Don't even try it again. What happened? Um, she said I reported her to the ED. She barged in here expecting me to exchange words with her. And when I didn't give her that pleasure, it got her really mad. What's happening here, Edmonds? <clears throat> I was hearing voices from this office. What's happening? What's um, going on? Uh, Mr. Edmonds, uh, I took care of you today. You did? Yes. Oh, I see. It's okay. All everyone is fine. You're always making mistakes. What's this? Look here, what is this? Get back to me later, alright? Correct it immediately. I don't want this sort of mistake again in this office. Promise and promotions Just to get a piece of the action Punishing and stop doing the honest ones hey, The ones who refuse you child. The ones who say no to you huh. But little did you know What kind of girl is this? Hmm? They call me Edmund Edmund that has all the women in this company. At the beck and call of Edmund, every woman pays attention. But how come this particular one is feeling hard to get? I mean, what's her problem? Kai bought this girl fine shower. Ah. That girl is beautiful. But what is her problem? Is there something that I am doing that she doesn't like? I am a handsome young man, well packaged. Every lady's number one spec. So what is the problem for crying out loud? What's the problem? What's the problem? I think the bone of contention should what will I be doing to get this girl? <sighs> it's all settled. Every woman wants to be promoted. And by the time she finds out about Mrs. Bianca's promotion, she will run into my arms, not knowing that I've been waiting for her. And I will squeeze her like a lemon juice made from the Caribbean. Sharon, Ngala Chagikube. You know, I've really missed this. I don't understand. What have you missed? We made love here in your office some days ago, if not yesterday. So why are you sounding as if you're a sex star? Yeah, but I've told I you. I know you have a handful of us who service you here. Listen to me, but I've told you you're the sweetest amongst them all. <laughs> I mean, you're just the best of the girls. 
The same thing you said to me. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. What do you mean the same thing I said to me? Yes. She told me. As a matter of fact, each time she comes here to see you, she tells me. And she tells me also the kind of styles you two do. <laughs> this is not happening. <laughs> That's happening. What? Okay, fine. You yourself. Do you also tell me the sort of style we take? I mean, the style we use in taking away dominance. Of course, yes. Hey. Do you have a problem with that? My enemy has invaded my privacy. Oh my goodness, I'm finished. I'm finished. What's with the drama? Oh What's the big deal? But why? why? Why would you have to do that? Why? We are also aware that you are also removing turbulence from the gigantic waist of Mrs. Bianca. <laughs> He's <laughs> <Hey>, surprised. <laughs> the ones who refuse you, shine. The ones who okay, okay, fine. Oh, fine. now I see what's happening here. It's a time to revalidate our status in the office, yeah? Well, it's a good thing that you know I've been taking away turbulence from Mrs. Bianca. And you think I don't know that Mr. Jeffrey, the manager, has been doing a good job by taking away turbulence from you? <laughs> so enjoy your promotion, courtesy of me. But I paid with my body. Ah, is that what you have to say? Okay, you think your body can do everything for you, isn't it? It's all right. Share your another promotion is coming up, so I'll know how you get that. Are you serious now? Top legs, You know I can do anything. Mm. Are you, are you sure about it? Anyway, the more you allow turbulence to be removed from you, the more promotion you get. And you know one good thing about these promotions? The more you're promoted, the more increment of salary you get. Yes. <laughs> so, you're happy? Of course I am. Who would be? Okay, if you were, then please help me and get rid of some turbulence. At the service. Uh. What? Jesus Christ. What is going on there? Mr. Edmund making out with a female staff. Was not that the voice of Peggy, the company's accountant? Ha! Now what for Mr. Edmund? Oh. Hey! You're welcome, Joe. Thank you. So, how was your vacation? Why splendid? I can see it. <laughs> Look at the way you're shining. <laughs> it's all good. Yes, I'm happy that you're back to work. We really missed you. Uh, of course, I miss everyone too. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. Anyway, so you will uh, acquaint yourself with uh, what is going on, okay?
It's written in the scripture that he that works should get rewarded. And for your turbulent efforts, no matter how little, you must be rewarded. Why, Papa? Yeah. But that's. You can make heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, 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 I can't even to explain how delighted I am right now. You, you're excited. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so, happy. I'm so, so excited. Thank you. Oh, listen, Thank you. Listen, I'm just emotional. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, listen. The more you continue being. Available for tournaments. The more promotion you get, the more promotion you get, the more promotion you get, the more promotion you get. Hey, sugar, come on. <laughs> In this office, take me. Ah, really? Take me. Eat me up. I like the sound. Hold me. Say that again. Caress me. Say that again. I'm all yours, honey. This <laughs> office. Uh -huh. We'll keep burning this office. This office is on fire. Mm -hmm. You know, um, yeah, unless I forget, we're having it this evening. I have to see you after work. Oh, good. This evening? Yeah, what is it? Is that a problem? There is a problem. You know very well that I am a married woman. I've got kids and my husband. What will I say to my husband? <laughs> well, um, you're not a child. You can tell your husband you're working late at the office. Maybe you have some file to balance up with or something. Tell him something. You know your way around your husband, please. Edmund, you cannot make heaven. What? You can't. You are going straight to hell. Impossible. <laughs> Impossible. With all the turbulence I'm taking away from your life. Yeah. Okay, fine. I, I, I know what to do. Okay. I'll see you afterwards. That turbulence remove. <laughs> you are just a. This office is all fine. You are a turbulent giver. And this service is on fire. Mr. Turbulence Remover. Turbulence are rewarded in this office. Everyone True turbulence. No turbulence. No promotion. Turbulence service. I cannot tell it all what the Lord has done for me. I cannot tell it all what the Lord has done for me. I cannot tell it all. He sent me and washed me with the Lord. So I can shout hallelujah. I can shout hallelujah. I can shout praise the Lord. Ah! Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Hey, honey. I have just been promoted. Wow. 
Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Lily. Of course, you are nesting like yeah? Thank yes, you. so congratulations <laughs> once you. more. Thank you so much. I feel your happiness, and you know, of course, if you're happy for me, yours is next. Yeah. Of right. course. Thank you so much. Yeah. It is certain. <laughs> oh, I'm the girl that. Ah. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I want to say something. I want to say something. What's going on here? I sense jubilation in the atmosphere. My beautiful Peggy, uh -huh. I have just been promoted. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, our beautiful Mrs. Bianca, on your promotion. Thank you, Gracia. Although. I got mine before you. <laughs> anyway, it's the same thing. It's the same. Thank you. It's the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Mrs. Bianca. Thank you, my senior colleague. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Mrs. Bianca, I'm so happy for you. And I know how you feel. You don't know how I feel, honey. When you get yours, you know how I feel, yeah? So I'll be in my office, right? Oh, what are all that stuff for me? <laughs> oh, my good girl. What a feeling to your life. She deserves it. You know, she has worked really hard for this promotion. Can you just you know, shut up for know. once? What Must you talk? Did I say anything bad? My own is I got mine before. Oh, hands on your walk. <laughs> ah, promotion. Okay. Mr. Edmund, what exactly is going on? How do you mean? Why do I feel like I'm being neglected? All the junior staffs are getting promoted. These are the same staff I personally train in this office. Mr. Edmund, I feel I, I feel embittered. It's grieving to see you treat me this way. So, what has your not being promoted got to do with me? That's what I don't understand. What exactly are you saying? I just asked you a question. You said something. And I'm asking you, what has that got to do with me? Well, um, I could remember there was a time I called your attention. I was giving you some signs. I even engaged in one or two conversations, you know. I was trying to make you understand that I needed to take away some turbulence from you. But what did you do? You objected. So, please, if you need somewhere to report or make your reports, take it somewhere else, not to me. If I understand you correctly, you are intentionally denying me what is due to me simply because I refuse to sleep with you. I refuse your sexual advances. That's why you're doing this. Point of correction, not sleeping with you. Me removing turbulence on your path. Please, if you don't mind, I'm a very busy person. You can go if you don't. May God have mercy on you, Mr. Edmund. Well, let your born again nature get you some promotion. Since my turbulence has no effect on your part, we shall see. Professor, good morning. Hi. Professor, how are you? I'm okay, sir. Is Sharon in the office? No, I did not see her. I just saw others leaving for lunch. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, let's go. Agaska. Yeah? Can you do for your boy? Hey, you got that? Oh, there you go. Thank you. God bless you, sir. God bless you.
Sharon? Pasta. You didn't go for lunch? Uh, no, I'm not hungry. Hey. Are you okay? Your eyes are swollen and they look red. What's going on? I, I just feel like my whole world is crumbling. Why? I mean, just take a look at Mrs. Bianca that came to this office just two years ago. She has just received that promotion. What about me? Why am I not being promoted? Sharon, I heard about it and it's unbelievable. I, I'm surprised. No. I even went as far as confronting Mr. Edmund. And all he could say was, I'm the reason, I'm the cause of me not getting promoted. How is that even possible? He put the blame on you. You would have allowed me finished. He said my refusal to sleep with him is the reason why I'm not getting any promotion. It's not fair. Sharon, you need to understand something. A lot is going on here in this office. You're not aware of. You can't see those things with the ordinary eyes. You have to be very spiritual to see them. I know. You don't, you don't have to tell me. I know all of that. I'll advise you to keep praying. I know you are very good at praying. So keep praying and have faith. Sure. Thank you. Thanks. Chief. I am no longer comfortable with uh, the type of politics we play in this office. And Sharon, who's been consistent for over seven years, is left behind. Why? Oscar. It is the responsibility of the manager and his supervisors to decide who gets promoted and who doesn't. But well, sir, I still don't understand. That's, that's us treating her unfairly. Yeah. Would you respect her? I believe she deserves to be promoted. Sir, she has worked tirelessly. She has rendered her services to this company for over seven years. Only for her to be treated unfairly? So that's not right. Was that what she told you? Chief, I believe this is us depriving her of what belongs to her. I mean, don't forget, she... She thought the other staff all they know. Only for them to get promoted. And she's being left behind. So this situation can lead to depression and, and agony. Oh, um, <clears throat> Oscar. Here in Richmore Group of Companies, there is an appraisal process where all the staff are ranked according to their performance by their manager and the supervisors. And the process is supervised by the Human Resources Department. Okay? So, I wouldn't want to do their job for them. Should I? Chief, I strongly believe that you can kindly reconsider your stance and do something about it. So, 
what exactly do you want me to do uh, concerning the promotion of that lady? Chief, this company belongs to you. And I'm pleading, you need to do something. You can't keep, you know, allowing things go the opposite direction in this company. That's not right. It's not a good image for us, sir. And I just asked you, what would you have me do? Chief, for an instance, Edmond asked her to leave her office. He actually sent her to the staff office, Chief. And that's not appropriate. Chief, you got back from your trip and you didn't do anything about it. Hey, sugar. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Say, say, what you said now. Uh, you, you need to see the look on our face. When I want to fall out my promotion letter right in their faces. In fact, I did that on purpose to make just of her. Sincerely, if you see her face, <laughs> it's like when they put faces on top. Let me be happy, be happy, let me get some. What? To what expense did you do that? Do you have to show her your promotion later? I don't get it. I don't like that girl. I hurt her. She disgusts me. She makes me want to peel like vomit. Like, yes, I don't like her. I don't like her at all. But the thing is, I don't know why women are like this. You guys are so much, so much, so much like mm -hmm. this. She thinks it's all about doing. It's not by that one. It's not by prayer and fasting and then casting and binding. It's not by all those ones. Let her pray, come and give her the, the, the letter, man. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> so her prayer cannot give her promotion. Uh -huh. Because she doesn't encounter the <laughs> Yeah, baby. Are you ready to take me on a ride tonight? Oh no, don't be a spoil sport. Yeah. Yes, can you say that words with some romance in it? Oh, sorry, please. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to take me on a ride tonight? Definitely, honey. I will take you there and bring you back in good health of mind and body. Sure, is That's a promise. Sure, is Of course. Do you start from here? Sure, is Or from here? Hungry. How? You are not hungry. Sharon, I've been meaning to ask you this. Is there anything? Since you came back from work, you have been wearing long face. What is the problem? I'm not just happy, Mom. At my place of work, every other person got promoted. I was the only one who was left behind. Even that, that, that Mrs. Bianca that came into the office just two years ago also received that promotion letter today. You don't mean it. No. They are doing all of this to taunt me, to get at me. You need to see the way Mrs. Bianca bashed into, into the office with a promotion letter flaunting it before me. That is quite unfair. Huh? We all know that she's sleeping with Mr. Edmund and getting a promotion, it's not even a problem for her. But to think that, that, that he's doing everything to frustrate me, to get me to sleep with him, that idiot, that nymphomaniac, for what? My dear, <sighs> that they are doing all this does not mean it's right. It's not morally right. And they, you cannot, and they would never do like them. It would be over my dead and buried body mm -hmm. to open my legs to that he goat and that divorcee manager. Hmm. Just to hold on to God. 
I know that God will visit and you will laugh last. Eh? Mom, they are seriously working hard to frustrate all my efforts. They just want to frustrate me. Believe me when I say that God will fix it. God will definitely fix it. And that time all these things will be fizzled away. I am being debased in that company. It's as if every effort and commitment does not even count. My daughter, please do not let them see that they have gotten at you or defeated you. Always wear a smiling face. Continue your selfless service in that office. You are being watched. Yes. Just mark my word. You think so? Yeah, I know so. Yes, I know so. It's okay. Eat your food. Bigo. No, no, eat it later. Don't no. let those things weigh you down. Eat no, your food. I'm giving my time. I'm giving all my effort, my energy, everything. It can never be in vain. Mom, please, I'll eat later, okay? Hey, eat. I bought this just for you because I know you like this. Mom, no, not now, please, not now. I promise I'll eat it. But not now, please. Oh, Trixie, please, you and your brush should stop crying, okay? Dad, uh -huh. where is Mom? Your mommy will soon be back home, okay? Dad, I'm hungry. Oh. oh, she's not picking her call. Mm -hmm. Dad, why is Mom not picking her call? Did you guys fight? Oh, keep quiet, please. By the way, who told that I and your mom fought? But you guys do quarrel. Well, I think what I have to do now is go to the kitchen, prepare noodles for you two to eat, and go to sleep. Okay? Okay, Dad. Okay, Dad. His office. They do beke 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 beke. Eh?
I'm a little slow with you. Take it easy. Because I've never let it go. Oh, man. What is it? You just said What? What happened? I saw a flash of light. Are you able to be sure about it? Yes. I feel somebody's here. Light. That must be Fidelix, the yeah. security man, Fidelix. Fidelix, are you, are you there? I do think it's Fidelix. I, 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 I feel it's Sharon. Oh, impossible. How can Sharon be in the office by this time of the evening? What should she be looking for? She wants to get evidence to nail us. That girl is very, very... Lost trust, yes. You think so? Yes. In that case, we need to start going home. Huh? Let's go home. Let's go home. Okay. Let's go home. You, you, you go first. I'll, I'll, I'll come behind you. Hmm? Yeah, you go first. I'll, I'll join you. Okay, just be safe. Hmm. Just, just go. Be back by now for work. I don't know. Wow, the food is ready. Come, 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 come. Okay, go on. Make it serious. And chase me. I see us. Okay? Enjoy your food. What is this? What? Dad! I thought you said that you are going to prepare noodles for us, but this is too soft. I add water in. Stop complaining and eat your food. Eh? This is not food, Dad! Chelsea, remember, Dad is a man. What do you expect? He has done the best he could do for us. Let's just manage it. Mm-mm. Try the egg. Mm-mm. No, I'm not eating it at all. I can't try this. Mm -mm. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm fine. I wanted to ask you, did you see anyone leave the office this evening? Office? Yes. No. Ha! I don't even come up and I don't even see anybody. Not only Madame Bianca. I just walk her pass. Oh. Hmm. So you mean you didn't see another person like, maybe like a stranger, maybe someone else apart from Madame Bianca? No, even a spiritual butterfly and a physical butterfly. I don't even see anyone pass. Only Madame Bianca and I just walk pass. Oh, okay. Is that right? Oh. Mr. Edmund, any yeah, problem? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no problems. You see, it's about the security of our office. You know, it's always good to stay with you. Yes, you, know, <laughs> you, know, you are correct. Safe. But nobody. Oh, okay. Please, uh, open the gate for me. Let me go home and rest. Mr. Jobless, remove. Mr. Jobless, remove. You are just a deceiver. I'm a deceiver. You are a turbulent giver. And 
What do I ever done to Bianca to deserve all this? The job, the job have really changed my wife from a wife and a mother to what I cannot explain. I've been calling her just to know what is really going on with her there. But she refused to pick my call. Shouldn't have brought this idea of her getting a job, and she refused at the first time. But I push her, and I push her to to the job, and now see what is happening to my family. Chexy, Noel, please eat your food. Yeah. We are not eating. Uh, please, you have to manage. Please don't do this to daddy. Okay. Dad, I'm sorry. I can't eat it. Uh, but you were complaining that you are hungry. Huh? Please eat, Noel. But mom could have done it better. Yes. I'm sorry. Where are you coming from? Man, I'm coming from work. Tell that to the birds. And what is that supposed to mean? You left this house since 7 30 a.m. and now you are coming back. Look at your time. A married woman with kids doing unimaginable things. Please, I indulge you. I beg of you, I am very, very tired. I am fagged out, I am stressed. I want to just go take a shower and sleep peacefully. I don't have strength for your nonsense talks, please. You know, Bianca. Bianca, you must tell me the man you are with this night. You must. You must be very stupid to even think about me like that. You think I cheat? I do not understand. Bianca, you have husband and children in the house. And you choose to come by by this time. Well, if you must know, I worked over time. I had workload on my table. I had to sort it out. Is that okay? I know you, you, you found an excuse to give. But let me ask you one question, Bianca. Are you the only one walking in this house? Are you? Please, I don't, like, I don't have strength for your nonsense talks. Sometimes you talk as if your brain is working from your anus. You sound like a broken record. Can you let me be? I am stressed. Please. So, why are you not taking your calls? 
it's, it's, it's what I meant now. The brain is not functioning well. You were sick. Yes, because if you're not sick, you, you, you will not want me to take my calls inside the okay? So they can snatch my phone from me. Up there. In the night, I should take my cousin guy inside, inside Keke. Please now, what is this? As he gets, leave me alone now. Leave me alone. Ha! It's okay, Bianca. You have won. But remember, there is God. The unjust woman Her heart's filled with greed And wickedness She cares only for herself Whatever she pleases, we recklessness. Your eyes cannot do anything. She lies, she cheats, and hurts anyone that stands in her way. But in the end, they'll always be a prize to pay. Oh, the just woman. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. He that keepeth Sharon will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Sharon shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my shade upon his right hand. The sun shall not smite Sharon by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve Sharon from all evil. He shall preserve my soul. The Lord shall preserve my going out and my coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Lord, these are the promises you made to me. Oh God, on bended knees I come before you. I do not want to complain, Lord. But God, thou seest all. Father, even the birds of the air do not toy, yet they do not suffer for food. Oh, Lord God in heaven, you said affliction shall not arise a second time. God, I know the thoughts you have for me. They are the thoughts of good and not of evil to bring me to my expected end. Dear God, I'm holding all these promises and I'm holding you to answer me, dear God. Please, Lord, help me. Please fight for me, Lord. Fight those that fight against me. Make their way wet and slippery. Let them fall into the pit that they dig it for me. Let them be entrapped in their own net, oh God. For you are my God and my salvation. I have no one else but you. I have no one.
I hope you two did your homework. Yes, Dad. Noel, didn't you hear my question? I heard you, Dad. So why is your face like this? I did my assignment. Noel, I asked a question. Why is your face like this? Noel, what's wrong? <sighs> it's about mom. What about her? She abandoned us just because of our work. The top on her list. Her most priority, and not us. Mama, I'm not happy. I'm not happy with that new development. <sighs> Dad, Emmanuel is right. Mom abandoned her family. Uh, please, you have to stop this, okay? Mom cannot abandon her family. Okay. Dad, do not cover up for her, please. We did not eat dinner last night. What? But I prepared the uh, noodles for you too. We couldn't eat it because it was very soft. It was entirely my fault, okay? I added a lot of water on it. Please, I'm sorry. Dad, mom should be the one cooking, not you. It's your mom have been busy. Since yesterday, she had a lot of work in her table to do. Ah, please, okay, let us just leave this, okay? We we'll talk about it in the evening, okay? Can we have our meal? Yes. Down, great game. Sugar. Hello, my my beautiful Bianca. Good morning. How's your night? Well, let's say my night was so tiresome. You know what happened when I got home? You rode me like a bullet, and as well as I got home, I ran to the bathroom to take my bath, and I rushed to bed, and I slept. Boom! Are you saying? Like, are you telling me? Yeah, of course, man. You know, you you're the best thing I've ever had. You will tell me the truth. Hmm. It feels like there's a sucker in there. <laughs> Stop. Okay, fine. I, I've not said this to you before, but you know, you, you make me feel so, so heavenly. Something my husband has never done in this miserable life before. Oh wow! I'd like to hear that again. Are you serious? So, are we having a sweet sex again? Like, I can't wait to have it again with you. Well, in that case, you must have to catch up with me at the office. No, but, but, but please, it has to be during lunchtime. Yes, you, you know, our affair is, is raising eyebrows already, you know. And I, I don't want problems. My husband was shouting and yelling last night at me. I had to lie to save my ass. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry about that. Okay, um, that means from now henceforth, there wouldn't be anything like night affair. Mm -hmm. Yes, at least until I'm done with this whole marriage thing. You know, I, ca I can't wait to have you inside of me. What? She has been cheating with another man? <sighs> it's alright. It's alright. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. So, uh, uh, so we can just be together. You want me, I want you. We will be together. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't understand. Do you have intention of leaving your marriage? Why are you whining like a child? Why are you whining for? I don't understand. You want me, I want you, right? And then we'll be together. Well, <laughs> except you're married. No, no, no. Come on, why would you say that? I'm not married. Then, 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 then what? I don't get. What are you saying? Ah, please. I... What? So, <laughs> this woman was actually in the hands of her co-worker. And she lied to me. Me, her husband. Don't get me wrong. What I'm trying to say is me. You could sister in your marriage and we're still on. Um. <laughs> um. Uh. 
Who yeah. are you talking to? A friend. <laughs> uh, my camera should be getting ready to go to work. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Um, I have to take the kids to school. Okay. Yeah, from there, I drive to office. All right, thank you. Okay, see you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sugar, are you there? Who was that that was talking at the background? Was that your husband? Mm, that was him. That told me he was listening to everything we've been talking about here. No, he just came in now to pick the car keys now. Are you sure he didn't hear anything? Okay, um, I'm almost close to the office. Then I'll see you when you get there. Most definitely. I'll see you soon, yeah? Trust me, I'm going to ride you like never before. Like I'm about to send you out to the skies and you fall back to the and say hi. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. See you soon. Uh -huh. Alright, darling, I'll see you later. Are you serious right now? You're, you're gonna leave your marriage because of your affair? I think you're joking, man. <laughs> you're really joking. Who does that? You're gonna leave your marriage because of an affair. Is keeping that in there. We are late for school already. I don't want any teacher to flog me. Let dad just come and take us to school. He has been gone for too long. I wonder what is still keeping him waiting. Mm. Yeah, I hate Max. I don't want any of my teachers to flog me because of that. receive punishment for my teachers because we're coming to school late. Oh, I'm sorry, my son, okay? Sorry for the delay. Hmm? But dad, what took you so long in there? Oh, I say I'm sorry. Dad, please, we're already late to school. Casey, would you blame your daddy forever? At least I'll say sorry more than a million times. Eh? Is daddy not looking good? Looking cool. Dad, where is mom? Is she not going to work today? Uh, definitely. Okay, let's go. We're already late, let's go. My wife is shitting on me. This is fountainable. How can she abandon the children and I and be gravitating around the town with this side boy? What is my offense for crying out loud? What did I ever do to Bianca to deserve what she's doing to me? Is it wrong now to marry a very beautiful woman? 
I will do exactly everything she asked me to do. Even at like that, she will complain and lament that don't make her feel like a woman. And now, she's seeking pressure outside her matrimonial home. What can I do to her, Bianca? Ah. Dad, are you okay? Daddy, what seems to be the problem? <laughs> uh, what you just said? Daddy, are you okay? Uh, <laughs> nothing, no, nothing, nothing at all, okay? Dad. I'm okay. I'm are okay. you sure? Yeah. You're very sure? Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm sure, okay? Daddy, are you sure you're okay? Hey, yeah, that is fine. Okay? If you say so, but I hope you're okay. Yeah, that is fine. Mrs. Bianca, please lead us into these praises and worship. Excuse me? We have 30 minutes before the work day begins, so please let us hurry up, lead us. Please call somebody else. I cannot do it. Team. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done in our lives. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Be mad. Amen. Amen. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we worship you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We we'll give you adoration because there is none like unto thee. There is none to be compared to thee. You are glorious in holiness. You are faithful and praise. You do mighty works and only righteousness. Hallelujah. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your mercy and your protection. And the camera fades out in Jesus. Wonders they say shall never cease. You see that big for nothing, Mrs. Bianca? She couldn't even open her mouth to sing. What are you guys expecting? You expect her to have sung like the angels. The only thing she does in this office is to open her legs for the manager and the supervisor. Okay. Hmm? Tim, are you trying to say that a married woman is sleeping with Mr. Edmund and the manager? I have seen them not once, not twice. No deal. <gasps> Tim! I have seen them with my eyes. Hey. hey! I should have known. I should have known better. That woman just started working in this company for just two years. And she has gotten a promotion. I know what she did. She used what she has to get what she ever wanted. Exactly. That woman is a desperate woman. I tell she's you. so desperate. Well, she's so desperate and can do anything. Only God knows. At times, I wonder if the MD have not noticed what is happening in this office. That this office has turned into Sodom and Gomorrah. Can we all just focus on our works? Please. Let's do what we are being paid for. If the supervisor comes in here and see you all idle chattering, you think you will be happy? Now focus, please. And let some people work. Let's do what we are paid for. Yes, ma'am. People want to turn this company to hotel. Wait, are you serious about what you say? That Sharon intentionally pointed at me to lead in the praises and worship to jeer at me. Imagine asking me to sing before the whole staffs of Richmond group of companies. With the thought of how I'm going to be in Edmond's arms this afternoon and how I'll be screaming and groaning in pleasure as it takes me to Club 9 on my mind. Could I have thought of a song? Oh, Edmond is driving me crazy. I wish this office romance is not going to stop. Gosh, I suffer perennial insomnia each time I think of him. I can't wait for lunchtime for us to do it once again. In his office, right on his table. <sighs> Bianca, I sketched that letter based on the MD's uh, direction. Please type it within 30 minutes. It needs to be in the schedule. I'll do what I've done. Let it to him in 30 minutes. I said I will do what I've done with this one. I can't give this one out to you. So. I'm sure you do it and get it to the end. This table is very urgent. Then who are you to order me around? I do not understand. After all, in this office, I earn more than you do. So you don't have the right to come here and tell me bullshit. Well, make sure you just do what I told you. <laughs> oh my god. Some people have just um faggot, mangled, expired fools. You all of them. So let's order me around. Smelling pizza. Hello, 
How's it going? Very well, thank you, sir. Let me see that, sir, excuse me. Have you done the other upgrade? Yes, sir. I'm done with this. I'm working on the next one. Um, where is Nini? She went to ease herself. She's beautiful in every sense. I just want her to give me the same thing others have been giving me. Is that too hard for her to do? Hello, Chief. Yes, Chief. Okay, sir. You need to see me once she returns. Okay, sir. Sir, I'm done with this file. Good and fine. Forget about this for now. Let's talk about us. I called you yesterday. I wanted to be with you. Come on, give me that smile. But sir, you haven't even taken a look at the file. Don't worry about the file. Let's talk about our file. Come on. Come on here, my dear. <laughs> give me that smile. <laughs> it's not safe here, okay? I don't think we should do this. Considering what is going on in this company, mm -hmm. I mean, someone might just walk in here and see us. No one has audacity to enter into my office without my consent. Remember? I the supervisor is there. I am the manager, I am in charge. I only do the managerial aspect of this company. While Mr. Edmund sits to the affair of this company. So, can you give me what I want? <laughs> Your hands are not comfortable. Ah, be comfortable. No one will see it. Come on. 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 Yes, sir. I give you an instruction to prepare a proposal later. For you to forward it to Bianca to type. Did you do that? Yes, I did, Chief. But Bianca is saying that you didn't give her any letter to type. What? Did you tell MD I didn't give you any letter to type? Did you give me any letter to type? Yes, I did. I, I went to her office. I saw her typing. I then gave her the proposal letter to type. I told her to leave whatever she was doing and to finish it quickly, get it across to you within 30 minutes. But she emphatically told me she wasn't going to do it, that I had no right to other her around as she earns more than, more than I do. Mm. Bianca. Chief. What Sharon said. Is that the truth? Chief, that's a blunted line. She just told a very big lie, sir. Of course, there's Eric in this office, and I know that. And she's a senior colleague to me, so I wouldn't even dare to do such a thing to her. I didn't do that, and she's lying. Are you really calling me a liar? Yes. You are worse than a liar. You just told a pathological lie. And you, you're saying that you are born again. Did I lie to? Oscar? Chief. Get me the supervisor. Alright. All right, away, Chief. Now you listen both of you. I will not condone this kind of nonsense in this company. Oscar? Chief. What is keeping the supervisor? I'm sure he'll be here shortly. Uh, Chief. Yes. You sent for me. 
very explicit. So, excuse me. Edmund. Chief. Um, I have a situation here. Okay. I asked Sharon to prepare a proposal later and give to Bianca to type for me. Now, Bianca is saying that uh, she was not given any letter. Meanwhile, Sharon is insisting that she gave the letter to Bianca to type. So, I'm at a loss here, Edmond. What do you think? Um, Chief, as a very honest person that I am, and as a child of God, I always stand by the truth. If Bianca is insisting that Sharon didn't give her any paper to type, then that means Bianca is saying the truth. Because I've, I'm very close to these people. I know everybody's character in this company. I mean, Bianca has this repute of saying the truth always. I've, I've tried her, and she's a very honest person. So, in your opinion, um, Bianca is saying the truth, and uh, Sharon is lying. I'm chief. Like I said before, Bianca is a very honest person. That I can guarantee she is. Chief, sincerely speaking, sir, I cannot lie. This daughter of the devil did not give me any letter to type, and she knows the truth. She's just lying. So you're insisting that the proposal letter never got to your table? And you're insisting you gave it to me? Why are you such a pathetic liar? What do you want again? I do not understand. What you sent to me? You are just a, a pathetic liar. I think something serious is going on in this office. Newscaster. Tim, you can actually say that again. The way Peggy spreads news in this office, eh? I begin to wonder if she had actually worked in a radio station or TV as a newscaster before. I'm telling people what's going on in the managing director's office, and you think I'm joking. See? I think there's a case. Yes. Peggy, can you shut up your mouth and stop saying what you don't know? Let us wait until they are out from the MD's office. Then we can get the authentic news. Mm. If you all like, you believe. If you don't, leave it. As a matter of fact. Eh, hey, Nini, supervisor was here asking after you. He told me to tell you to see me immediately you're out of the restroom. Uh, before I forget, was it the restroom you went to or you enter one office like that? Yay! What kind of stupid question is that? Tim, mind your business. Stay your lane. And uh, maybe you should just answer him. Well, I don't know. Uh, every day is for the thief. One day is for the owner of the house. I don't have time for gossips. Like you. I see things. What do you see? I see things. Mr. Sia. Sharon. Yes, Chief. I had so much confidence in you. But right now, I don't know what to believe anymore. Chief, I have rendered selfless service to this company for several years. And by the special grace of God, I am one of the senior staff in this company. And it's quite unfortunate that some persons are trying to frustrate my efforts by conspiring against me for reasons best known to them. There is nobody trying to frustrate your efforts, my darling. You are the one claiming to be a saint, whereby you are the devil incarnate. Meanwhile, this is not about praying and fasting or speaking in tongues, Sharon. Will you shut up, Bianca? What is it with this devil thing? You keep accusing her of being a Christian or not being a Christian or whatever. Do you have anything against Christianity? What's your problem? Chief, with your permission, there's something I'd like you to listen to. What is it? 
Before everyone here, Bianca called me a liar. I would like to prove that she is the liar, not me. What rubbish are you talking about? You will soon find out. Excuse me. Okay. Yes, Oscar. Something is not right. I smell conspiracy. Your guess is as good as mine. Chief, I had a feeling that this was going to happen. So I recorded the conversation between Bianca and myself. Listen. I said I will develop the whole song. I can get the song out of this. I'm sure you do it again to be a mistake or sorry. Then who is one of the road? No, but after all, it's like air more than you do. So if you don't have the right to come here and tell me bullshit. What? Jeff, it's not what you think. I can actually explain. You know, it's it's I no, shut up there! It's not what I think. How do you know what I am thinking? Sue, you were lying all this while. You made all of us to think that Sharon was the liar here. Huh? Eh? You stop that! You're making your hands like this. Meanwhile, you were here supporting this liar. Right? No, the chief. The truth is, people change overnight. See, I've not said this to anybody before. I am on 21 days straight prayer and fasting. And this period, they were, there's a way we're guided in the church that we should mind the way we trade. Because if we make mistakes, we might be trading the wrong path. So we need to be very, very mindful of everything we're doing this season. There's no way I would have known that this one is lying and I'll be supporting her. It is not in my nature. Bianca, Bianca must have changed. That means. Sharon has taken the position of Bianca in saying the truth. Bianca, you're such a disappointment. Edmund. You're a dangerous woman. Edmund, will Edmund. you keep quiet? Look at you. Are you serious right now? I am disappointed. Hello, um, Sharon. Yes, Jim. On behalf of these two Pathological liars. I apologize. Okay? It's nothing, Chief. It's all right. Thank you, Chief. Sharon, what happened? It's fine. Of course it's not fine. You never open up. Always secretive. And that is not good. Come on. Don't you know a problem shared is a problem half solved? Nini, just leave her alone. You know she's an introvert and you always want to force words out of her mouth. Nini. Nini, can you stop? What is wrong with you? You keep running your mouth. Can you for one day shut up? Mm. I told you guys. I told you guys that something happened at the MD's office. See, I've never seen Miss Sharon this broken before. For all I know, she's a strong lady with likable personalities. But this one, she's like this. <laughs> mm. What could be the problem? I don't know. It's obvious something happened at the MD's office that left her this devastated.
see Mr. Jeffrey. Sarah, this you. Yes. Afternoon, how are you? The MD instructed me to give you this. It contains information regarding um, Gozek Industries Limited. He instructed that you go through the file thoroughly, effect any change if there's any need for it, and get it across to him first thing in the morning. Okay, fine. Make yourself comfortable while I go through it. Oh, there won't be any need for that, as I have a lot to do in the office. Excuse me, sir. Have you always been in a hurry? <laughs> Sharon. Excuse me. Come on. Have anyone told you how beautiful you are? No, 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 no. No doubt. The prettiest of them all. I don't know what's stopping us from having something together. Mr. Jeffrey, so you want me to have an affair with you? Of course, yes. Nothing to lose. No regrets at all. Now you listen, Mr. Jeffrey. I will not say this another time. I will not have an affair with you. Why? Why are you acting Why are you acting strict? Mr. Yes? Jeffrey, you are a married man. You should respect that. Of course, I'm a married man. But I'm a divorcee now. Yes, my wife left me. I can still marry you. You know what? I am not interested. Please, have a good day, sir. Excuse me. Okay, let's see how it goes. And I'll be masked out again. Chief, I was just updating the payment vouchers and uh, the duty charts. It's okay, Chief. I'll do just that. All right, sir. Who is it? Come. My beautiful Sharon. How are you doing? Very well, thank you, Mr. Jeffrey. And how is work going? Work is good. Fine. Sharon, I have been trying to get your attention, but you're not giving up. The more I try, the more you are not showing any green light. Uh, what's going on? Mr. Jeffrey, I hate it when people block me. It just feels like you're stalking me. I can't breathe. I don't know. Please. I will not oblige your request. Please, just get that and move on, okay? If I get you well, uh, does it mean I don't look like what you can go for? Mr. Jeffrey, uh, some of us have important things to do, like work, remember? I'm no exception to that rule, so I have to work. Thank you. Smart and good enough. Sharon, listen to me. Then you can't deny me access to your body and expect everything to be fine. No. If this office is what is making your head to swell and feel like you're high and mighty, then be ready to leave this office to the staff room where you rightfully belong. Mr. Jeffrey, with all due respect, can you leave my office now? Can I hear you well? I'm saying get out. Oh. 
use the door. Get out, please. Fine. I will leave. But listen to me. You have not seen the last of me. Get out. Really? <sighs> Edmund and Bianca have done their worst. But I thank God. Thank God for always seeing me through my ordeals. Anyone who trusts in God can never be put to shame. And like my mom would say, don't let your enemies see your tears because they do not have the capacity to make you shed tears. And I refuse to let my enemies have the last laugh. Miss Sharon, don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. Peggy. I'm here to apologize for what happened earlier today. No, it's fine. I must commend your bravery. I was impressed. <laughs> Just that I don't understand their need to get me out of this place. I mean, Mr. Jeffrey and Mr. Edmund both asked me out. And I refused. That shouldn't be a problem, should it? Trust me, it's a, it's a stupid situation. However, I I caught the manager and Nina in his office. I, I'm very uh, disappointed. Yeah. Wow. This has turned into something else. And I feel like it will continue because the board has vehemently refused to do anything about it. The end is bold and weak. But that's not enough reason for him to overlook all the atrocities going on in this office. Trust me, he doesn't know. Fine. But you are his PA. You are his eyes, you are his ears here in this company. In a situation where he cannot act or speak. Okay. I'm <laughs> I'm fine, oh, your mother is doing good. <laughs> what else? I am mending your sister's clothes. Don't forget she is a working class lady. Eh? She barely have time for herself, let alone doing this kind of stuff. Um, she's doing well. Your twin sister is doing well. She's doing very good in her working place. Mm. 
Dream? What about the dream? I hope it's not bad dream. Tell me. Kinsley, talk to me. You mean you don't want to tell me the dream you had about your sister? Your twin sister? Kinsley. 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 Hey! You don't know how I'm going to go I don't know what I'm going to do. Dream. I believe whatever dream it is, my God is there for me. My God is alive. He will never let me down. They need to be stopped. Else it will just become worse. There's a tendency that the immorality going on in this company can cause this company a serious setback and stagnation. God forbid, no one is praying for that. Then they need to be stopped like right now. You're right, absolutely right. Something has to be done. <laughs> I'm really fast. Hey, I'm going to have lunch and you're coming with me. No, I can't go with you. Listen, you keep turning me down, all right? I'm tired, come on. Besides, you need to eat to stay healthy. Oscar, don't complain if I get there and I don't eat anything. Excuse me? You don't eat food? What type of a human being are you? Okay, enough. Let's go before you call me a ghost. Let's go eat. I'm glad I was able to convince you. You didn't. Listen, I'm taking you somewhere really, really nice. Somewhere classy. Mm. Awesome. So tell me, Sharon, do you have a boyfriend? What sort of question is that? Just answer the question. Do you have a boyfriend? Why would I want to answer a rhetorical question? All right, listen, just tell me, do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a fiance? Just tell me, what's, what's up? What's up with you? Oscar, let me just put you out of your misery. I'm triple S. And what does that mean? I'm single. I'm still searching. <sighs> wow, really? I can't believe a girl as good looking as you are, as single. What's that? You want me to believe that? <laughs> believe whatever you want, so tell me. Why did you bring me here? Don't you like this place? This is where I have the best restaurants in town. I mean, I like the food. It tastes really nice. I just pay you to the MD. Why would you want to spend your month's salary just to please me? Well, I might just uh, be a PA, thank you very much. But I know rich people. I also know the owner of the restaurant. So whatever we're having here is being paid for here. Yeah. So because you know the owner of the restaurant, then miraculously everything we're having is paid for. I don't understand. Well, like I said, um, I know a lot of people. I know rich people. Yeah. Seriously? Mm-hmm. Sharon, you've had a stressful day at the office, so I actually brought you here to have a nice time. All right? Enjoy your food. I end more than you. I could still take care of this. It's been taken care of, I told you.
Hey. Thank you. I had a nice time. You did? Sure, I did. Oh. Okay. I'm glad you did. So I was hoping we do this again. Uh, Pretty soon. It's okay. Really? They are entering the office now. Only God knows where us cats will cut to. Eh? Premium property. Ordinary PA is the one leading her around. Where are they coming from? Till then. Alright, let you get back to work. Yes, I do have work to get back to. It's okay, bye. Yes, it's okay, bye. She is a just woman. Her heart's so pure and true. She lives a life of honesty and always follows her. Noel, today is addition. Okay. Okay. 18 plus 15 is equals to what? 18 plus 15. Yes. Noel, I've taught you how to add and divide and multiply, right? So, count it, I'm waiting. Dad, the answer is 33. Keep quiet, I'm not talking to you. Noel, I'm waiting. Okay, zero, zero into 15, plus zero, zero into 18. Yeah, write it down. Plus, Okay, count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <coughs> eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. 33. Mm. So, 18 plus 15 is equals to? 33. Wow! <laughs> that is my boy. Give yourself a Milo clap. Milo. Milo. <laughs> Hearts filled with greed and wickedness. She cares only for herself. And do whatever she please with recklessness. She lies, she cheats, and hurts anyone that stands in her way. But in the end, there'll always be a price to pay. Oh, the just woman. Heart straight and steady. Noel, Chasey, what just happened just right now? <sighs> you did not greet your mom. But, but she, she did not greet you. you. What? This should not repeat itself again. Now, go inside that room and greet your mom. Go and greet her. Go to that room and greet her. Hearts filled with greed and wickedness. She cares only for herself And do whatever she please with recklessness She lies, she cheats And hurts anyone that stands in her way But in the end Mother, Always be pride this man has stoned my children against me.
Ah, baby, how is work today? Have you been discussing me with my children? I don't get it. You don't get what? Yes, I don't get it. You have succeeded in turning my children against me. My kids now see me as a total stranger. You don't have to blame them. Yes, because you have stopped playing the role of a mother to them. They now see you as a ghost mother. They go to bed without you, even go to school without seeing you. So what do you expect from them? Are you now complaining? Like seriously? Are you complaining? It is you who asked me to go look for a job to assist you in this house financially, isn't it? What stupid job is that? Eh? What a job that takes a mother away from her children and you, you leave the children alone with me to take care of and still go to work every morning. Eh? You know what? You're talking nonsense. Like I'm so tired right now. I should just get a warm bath and go to sleep. Sleep peacefully. It doesn't even stress me. Do you understand? Please, are we having dinner tonight? Please, sort yourselves out. You are pushing me to the wall. You are pushing me to the wall. And I will not take it lightly with you. I'm serious. I'm very serious. If you're not careful, I'll push you to the grave. Excuse me. Bianca. Can you imagine? You are pushing me to the right. You are pushing me to the wall. I will push you to the grave, honey, if you're not careful. Fool. beautiful wife to to wear wildness. Hey! Hey, Mama! Mama! Hey, blessed Mama! Mama, you want me. You want me not to be careful about the beautiful woman. But I did not listen. Even Madame Teliza, let Madame Teliza she called me like a son. Don't marry Bianca. That Bianca will not make a good wife to you. That Bianca is not a wife material. But my urge for beautiful women blinded my eyes. Look at my wife. She's now sleeping with different kind of men, just in the name of work. And I, and I was so happy to see her coming home today so early. I don't know how I'm expecting this. I, oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. No. She will not kill me. And I will not die pre my child. I will overcome this. God. Oh. God. Just woman, her heart's filled with greed and wickedness. She cares only for herself and do whatever she please with recklessness. She lies, she cheats, and hurts anyone that stands in her way.
Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, my name is Oscar. Sharon. Nice to meet you. Same here. So you live around here? Not too far from here. Oh, okay. So do you often walk out on this road? Well, a couple of times a week. Oh, that's great. Right, right. You look good. Thank you. So what do you do for a living? Well, nothing, really. Nothing? Sorry, nothing. I just completed my NYC and I'm job hunting. Oh, job hunting. I see. Hmm. Okay, I um I work with a uh, rich more group of companies here. Nice. And Good I'm for you. Yeah, I'm close to the MD. Okay. I can talk to him on your behalf. What did you study, please? Business administration. Oh, business admin. Oh, that's good. So I can talk to him on your behalf. Really? If that's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can. I can. I can. Yeah, I can. Oh. Please, let, let me have your number so I can... Uh... Okay. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sharon. Yeah. Yeah, Sharon. I remember. I'll just save it. So like I said... Uh, I'm close to the MD. I can talk to him on your behalf. And whatever he says, I'll give you a call. Okay. Is that okay? Sure. All right. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Nice morning. All right. Why did you bring me here? Don't you like this place? This is where I have the best restaurants in town. And I like the food. It tastes really nice. It just appeared to the MD. <laughs> Why would you want to spend your month's salary just to please me? Well, I might just uh, be a PA, thank you very much. But I know rich people. I also know the owner of the restaurant. So whatever we're having here has been paid for. Yeah. So because you know the owner of the restaurant, then miraculously everything we're having is paid for. I don't understand. Well, like I said, um, I know a lot of people. I know rich people. Yeah. Seriously? Mm hmm Sharon, you've had a stressful day at the office, so I actually brought you here to have a nice time. All right? Enjoy your food. I earn more than you. I could still take care of this. It's been taken care of, I told you. Her light shines so bright She's always ready To stand for justice And lend a helping hand She's truly grand She's just a woman How you lay your bed how you lie on it. But my biggest problem is how to convince my father she's the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. That's my challenge. How do I make them understand? Especially my dad. My mom too. the pretense. You are lost in thought, smiling and laughing all to yourself. Who is this guy? Mom. I know he must be a guy. Mom, please, can you just get off my back? <laughs> 
Leave me alone. What is it? I cannot get off your back <sighs> to continue wallowing in thoughts. Hmm? Tell me, my daughter. Mm. Actually, you go. Mm -hmm. My angel. Mm. Who is this guy that has captured your heart? Mom, huh? you're still insisting. Yes, I Who know. I know someone is there. Uh, well, uh, Mom, Don't you worry. just like to gossip. What is it? Speak this? out. My daughter is in love. I can see it in your eyes. Mom, please. I don't know if I'm in love, but I'll tell you about him when the time is right. But just know that... Mom, I agree. I saw Ren. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is that my daughter is in love Mom, and this is the right time. Stop. You know what? Eh, Aya, eat your food. You're making I'll me shy. So. Mm, don't. Just eat your food. But that was what I was about to do when you just came here and started talking about guy. What guy? Mm -hmm. You said guy. Yeah. As if. Oh my kid. Mom, do you think it's flower love that you used to do back in the day? Please, just leave me alone. Please. Your husband is not here. But I've been able to find out what is going <laughs> secretly. <laughs> eat your food. Uh -huh. Sharon, you know what? I need my space. No problem. <laughs> I need my space. No what? problem. I agree. Uh -huh. Your brother called you. Oh, I miss him. I'll call him. He even said that he will call you. Really? Yeah. You see the twin thing? <laughs> the twin connection. Don't tell me that. That is why I is it. No, I was thinking about my brother. Oh, no! Oh, is it lie? Am I cooking again tonight? What have I done to myself? Child, is this my cross to carry? Yeah. Dad. Yeah. Are you the one cooking again tonight? I thought your wife is back. Chessie, please. She's still your mother, okay? Hmm? Dad, I hate her. I hate her with passion. <sighs> Chessie, stop complaining. Stop it. I don't know why God gave me such a woman as a mother. Why is she doing all this? Why? <sighs> your mother is tired. She's tired. Oh, Dad, come on, keep on covering up for her. I hope we are not going to eat these noodles this night because I will not eat it, let alone eat. My heart. Eh? What have I what have I done to myself? Is it a sin to marry a beautiful woman? Eh? What my wife does these days is just working, being a staff to uh, reach more group of company. But it's not fair. It's totally not fair. <sighs> Our hearts filled with greed and wickedness. She cares only for herself. Whatever she please with recklessness She lies, she cheats And hurts anyone that stands in her way But in the end, there'll always be a price to
hope is not what I'm thinking. Hey, Bianca. Pregnancy? I don't even know who is responsible. You know the problem. You promised me a promotion, and up to now, you've not fulfilled your promise. Oh. Yes, it's true that I promised you a promotion, but you have to be a little bit patient with that promotion. It will surely come. I don't have time. I need this promotion as quickly as possible. Well, um, I understand how desperate you are and how eager you can wait to grab this promotion. You see, after the promotion of Mrs. Bianca, the MDA hasn't been cool with things around here. So I will advise we take it on a slow. I mean, by the time things calm down, I'm going to hit the desk again with promotion list. Like, boom, it's going to start happening again. I don't get it. Why is the MDA so nosy about her promotion? Well, um... I actually am not supposed to be telling you this, but you know you're so dear to my heart. Mrs. Bianca isn't due for that promotion. As a matter of fact, it's I and Mr. Jeffrey that has to work on that for that promotion to come through. <laughs> you mean Mrs. Bianca is sleeping with you and the manager? What is going on in this company? How did I even get myself in this mess? What do you mean? I think I'm pregnant. I've not seen my monthly thrill for two months now. I mean... Well, you, you're familiar with the saying that what goes around comes around and it's no longer that way. Nowadays, what goes around goes from there. I mean, why don't you just go ahead and take care of it as usual? Why are you making it look as if it's a big deal or probably want to start celebrating you or something? Come on, handle it, you big girl. Listen to me. I will never have any abortion again. I mean, this is the fifth abortion I'm having in two years. I won't do that. So what would you have me do if I may ask you? Well, I think that's the only way around this whole thing. Except there's other way that you want me to know. Then you go ahead and tell me. It's high time you take responsibility for your actions. Mr. Turbulence Remover. Mr. Turbulence Remover. You are just a deceiver. A deceiver. You are a turbulence giver. And not, not a turbulence remover. Do you realize you're talking to me? 
Mr. Jobo. Of course I know who I'm talking to. You are just a deceiver. A deceiver. Soon your game will be over. And you will become this woman is so hard. You know, I want to say something to you. And go ahead, I'm all ears. I'm pregnant. You got what? Yes, I, I've been feeling funny and I've been vomiting, so having money is sickness. And I check myself, but I'm pregnant. Please put it up. Put it up your top, Andy. I am not doing it again. I, why? Because I said I, I'm pregnant? You, you didn't ask me who is responsible. Why would I do that? How can I ask a married woman who is responsible for pregnancy? Of course, your husband is the father of your unborn baby. It's not my husband. I've not met with my husband for like in a long time. We've not had sex in a long time. So it is not my husband. You stop sleeping with your husband. Uh, well, in that case, uh, Edmund should be responsible for the seat you are carrying. It is not for Edmund. It is yours. Don't say it again. Don't say it again. <clears throat> what is that thing I'm just talking about? Huh? You think I don't know that I'm not even know what's the sleep with you in this office? You think I don't know that you've been sleeping with the manager as well? Look, Augustus, you are the only one responsible for my pregnancy. You know what? Well, at this point, I think I'm done with this conversation. If you don't mind, can you leave my office this minute and have work to do? You lie! I am going nowhere. In fact, you have to get a toy van to tow me out of this office. Rubbish. So when you were climbing me, you didn't know I might get pregnant. Hmm. Hey, hey. Oh, 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 just, just hold it there, hold it there. When I was climbing you, I didn't know it was going to lead to this rubbish. Is that what you just said right now? Were you not enjoying it? I'm asking you. Were you not enjoying it while we're having it? You enjoyed it, and I did. Including Mr. Jeffrey, the manager. So we both enjoyed it. As you sweet us, he did pain them. As you pain them, he did sweet us. But on this case, it was sweet in everybody. So put yourself together. Get out of my office. He go pain you, Dad. Because you know what? I am not having any abortion. I am not. What I want now is marriage. Oga, you go marry me. You will marry me. What I want now is marriage. Hey, you will marry me. <laughs> When you are not joking, you can talk to me. <laughs> anyway, I was trying to help you cry because obviously you are hungered of marriage, but I'm setting you as well instead of commitment. Listen, you don't talk about marriage with me because I have a woman in the house who is rightly pregnant for me. And as I'm talking to you right now, I'm going to be a father soon. You see your life? You see how you've messed up your life? Oh, what's a correction? My life is not messed up. Well, when the Bible said, go into the world and multiply, who do you think the Bible was referring to? It's I, Edmund, and I'm so multiplying into the world, and I'm going to be a father soon. You are wicked. You are a wicked man. You are a beast. You mean you have a girl you got pregnant all this while, and you keep telling me to open my legs? Climb me up and then do whatever you want with my body. Were you first to get that done? <laughs> Look, see, I decree so. I don't know, man. You see this matter, eh? We'll take it to the board. We'll die here. You see me and you? You don't marry me, finish. Wait. I go show you how to be worried, gay. You're Chris. Are, are, you, are you threatening me? Are you threatening me? It's like you've not realized that beneath this man, there's a trenches king living in here. If I show you my bubble last bit, you go to my if I reveal my book, all spirit give you, you go wrong, you're the man. Okay, I never see Chris, now you're the man. You see, you see, we go show ourselves. See, I'm worried, girl, I don't get shame. Jesus, I'm going to bust your head for this. You know, Richard, Chris. I'm going to bust your head for this. Oh, you carry that one. I'm worried, girl, I'm going to bust your head now. Bust your head now. You know what? I am taking it easy with you because you're in the office. If you try this with me outside, I will surprise you. I'm telling you. No security. You must marry me. Get out of house. I'm not going. I'm not going. You must marry me. You're shouting. Listen to me, Bianca. You can't push pregnancy on me. Look 
for somebody who is responsible for it. After all, while I was on leave, we were both having it. Jeffrey, the supremacy is two months old. I've been doing abortions, series of abortions, and my daughter has warned me not to do another one. Because if I try it, my life will, will, will end. I will just die. You mean you have been having abortions for Edmund? Uh, uh, well, take it to him. If he rejects it, then take it to your husband at home. I just told you now, you're not dead. That's my husband and I, we've not had any intim intimacy for a very long time. Like, did you hear what I said? Did you hear me? So you were busy punishing an innocent man? Why is she having it in the office? How am I in school? If you put it another guy's. You said to work with you. Are you mad or something? That guy just slapped me. Yes, and I will slap you again. You are fired. Fired by you. You are fired. In business speaking, listen to me. This baby is yours. You do not have a choice. <laughs> you don't want to tell me that. If I slap my fingers. Eh? You are out. You will vanish from this earth. Don't even try me. This one is your own. Do, do not have a choice. Use this man. Look at this woman. Is pregnancy by force? Eh? Ah! How can I, a, 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 a married woman be pregnant for me? For what? Leave my trouser alone. I will not. We must appear to the board like this. You don't know when I am serious. I am capable of doing worse things than you think of. Let's go off my trouser. You cannot do anything. We are going like this to meet the end. You see that which we did in the beginning will come to light. See, you don't know who you are messing with. You don't know me. You don't know me. <laughs> Can we get outside? Can we do this? Hey! 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 How do you do me? I don't want to do me. I will cut it. I will cut it. You see this thing where you want to want to do? You see this thing where you want to do? You know you are not the only person in this office. This is just... And at the same time, she was then walking. He got me pregnant and he was marrying me. Yes. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. Who is joking with you? Can you tell her you're joking with me? Stop this. It's a joke, yo. It's a joke. Uh, it's a, I'll explain to you later. It's a joke. Eh, uh, madam. Where are you going to? I know you came here to tell him that you are pregnant for him. So just say it. She knows I'm pregnant? Indeed, pregnancy cannot be hidden. Is she pregnant? Your hand work. You've been a very, very bad boy. Mm, if, she's pregnant, if she's pregnant, that means the pregnancy belongs to someone else. How is that my business? Yeah, that means the pregnancy is for Jeffrey, the manager. How is that my business? No, I know what I'm saying. I'm talking about my own. You are telling me. What? Let's go and see the end. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. 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 Let's just give me some time. Let me just relax myself. When I get home, I'll call you this evening. Please, please. No. I promise I'll call no. you. No. You, you must marry me. We will see. We'll go and see the end. We'll sort this out. Let's go and see the end. Leave me alone. Let's go. Oh, God. 
fault between the devil and the deep sea. I don't even know what to do. Ah. Yeah, I think. I think. Ah. Delay. Delay is dangerous. What am I going to do? Ah! Called me. Yes, I did. Say whatever I have to say. I need to take my pregnant wife to the hospital for checkup. Wife. Pregnant wife. But you, you told me that you, you aren't married. I don't understand why you're wasting my time. If there's anything you need to say, please say it. I'm in a hurry. I need to leave this place. <clears throat> um, I, I, I came to, to, to let you know that I am... I'm pregnant for you. You know that song, um, that popular song, um, last, last, it don't cast, and everybody go to your breakfast. Shall you also let me drop this? A minute, I'm coming. You see, little girls are allowing themselves to be put in family ways and not you. Just look at you. As old as you are, you're not even ashamed of yourself. You are exposed, you're learned. Why would you then allow yourself to be put in family way? Does it make sense? Ain't you even ashamed of yourself saying that to me? Is, is that all you have to say? Mm -mm. I should scream. Or rather, I should celebrate you for bringing such news to me. My friend, respect yourself. Anyway, a quick advice. Can you take that pregnancy to your husband? Because that's the father of the child. I will not take another month's pregnancy to my husband. He is not responsible for it. And we've not, we've, we've not made love in a very long time. Well, that's none of my business though. But um, like I said, you need to do the needful by taking the pregnancy to the man. I, if you like, get all the girls pregnant in the whole world. I do not care. You should know what we have to do. You and who? I'm asking you. You and who? Well, I've advised you to take the pregnancy to the rightful owner. You said you wouldn't do that. Well, I want to advise you before Google kill your papa. Before I marry your go fat into your left ear. Listen, I don't know you and you don't know me. And I don't want to ever see you around my office again. Do I make myself clear? If you don't leave that place, I'm going to run you through my car. And you trust me. You have not heard the last of me, definitely. Woman, our hearts filled with greed and wickedness. She cares only for herself. And do whatever she pleases. With recklessness, she lies, she cheats, and hurts anyone that stands in her way. But in the end, they'll always be a prize to pay. Oh, the just woman, her heart straight and steady. 
She's always ready to stand for justice and lend a helping hand. She's truly grand. How you lie on it What you sow Is what you reap How you lay your bed Is how you lie on it What you sow Is what Baby no Baby Why, why are you moving my hand? Like, what is it now? Eh? Please Allow me to have some sleep Please Baby, no, don't. I'm horny for you. Just make love to oh, me, no. Becca, what is it, now? What is it? Eh? Make love with you. You call me a one-minute man, and you want the one-minute man to make love to you? Eh? Baby, but you, you have always wanted me please, now. Please, please. Happy for the night. Happy for the night. I'm your wife. Oh, Becca. <laughs> Becca, you want to try me? Eh? You want to try me? It will not work for you. I know you are a drama queen. Eh? But just go and tell them that you did not see me at home. Bianca, you did not see me at home at all. Okay? Our hearts filled with greed and wickedness. She cares only for herself. And do whatever she please with recklessness she lies she cheats and hurts anyone that stands in her way but in the end there'll always be a price to pay oh the just woman Heart straight and steady, a light shines so bright. Some people are just shameless. Can't imagine what's going on in the office. Nini and Bianca are pregnant. It's unbelievable. At least they can rest now. <laughs> the funny thing is, the people responsible are denying it. The manager is saying he isn't the one. So is the supervisor. I mean, probably not the one. <laughs> yeah. Well, the Bible says that righteousness is all the Listen, nation. Enough of uh, all of that. Can we talk about us, please? Yes, boss. Sorry. So I've been meaning to say this to you. Um, I want us to meet my parents. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I want them to um, get to know you and all of that. Would you like that? Are you sure this is what you want? Yeah. Um, listen, you've proven to me that you're quite different from every other person, you know? So I'd like us to take this entire relationship really serious. What makes you think I'm different? Let me worry about that. You would not believe what I'm about to tell you. Hmm. Anne, what is it? Hmm. What is that? What is going on in our office is unheard of. Can you imagine? Mrs. Bianca and Nini are pregnant. Pregnant? How? Hmm. Who? I don't get it. Hmm. Mom, the news is everywhere in the office. And people are saying that the manager and the supervisor are responsible for their pregnancies. Ah, Kozipona! 
Hmm. What abomination? Responsible for their pregnancy. Huh. What type of uh, story is this? At least, Mrs. Bianca got what she always wanted. Uh, uh, my daughter, wait. What are the management saying about this? What are they saying about this? <laughs> I think not the same ones who are responsible for this messy situation. Okay. Chief Richard, what is he doing about? Uh, hmm. I don't, know, I, don't, I don't think he has any idea. He doesn't know what is going on. You mean Chief Richard does not know what is going on in that office? Uh, according to his PA, the man doesn't have any idea. And talking about his PA, Oscar asked me out. Huh? Eh? Say it again. I did not hear you well. Mom. Eh? Oh. <laughs> I said he asked me out. And what was your reaction? What's, what's your uh, response? Well, oh, Mom, he's, he also said he wants to go introduce me to his parents officially. You mean taking you? To his parents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talk to me. So, <sighs> when he take you to the parents, what will you do? What are you going to say? Mom. Eh? Answer me now. Why are you putting the horse in front of the cart? When I get to that bridge, I'll definitely cross it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uga, uga. I know you will cross it now. And I have what? I think I like that guy. Yeah. Mom, eh? did you just say guy? Eh, uh, guy. You Mom, you said that he's in the world. You're a guy, not guy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even believe this. Hi! Um, I don't have the head for this. What did you cook? I'm hungry. <laughs> Go to the kitchen and dish food for yourself. Thank you, Mom. I love How was your day? How oh, was your alarm now, my shame? But at least now, <laughs> small time, I'll eat what I want. <laughs> Go to the market. <laughs> you have made me meet you. Eh? Mom, Dad, I have something really important I'd like to share with, with you. Um, for a while, I've been meaning to tell you this. Um, that I have finally found the woman I would love to spend the rest of my life with. Oscar. Dad. What arrant nonsense are you spewing from your mouth? Dad, what do you mean? Dad. Dad, we here. Your mom and I have our eyes fixated on a particular girl. A well brought up girl that we want you to get married to. And here you are telling us that uh, you found some girl somewhere that you want to marry and you expect us to approve of her? No. But Dad, I'm, I'm trying to understand what you mean. Mom, is that true? No, no, the, the question should have been, how come no one mentioned that to me? Mm. Uh, son, it's true we didn't tell you. But... This particular girl is a girl we have known and watched for good seven years. She's a very good girl and a good wife material. She's the best for you. Um, Mom, I love you so much and I know you want the best for me. Well, Mom, the truth is I don't know who you want me to be with, and I've never met her before, and I don't want to meet her. However, 
mom if you if you see the girl I want to be with you're going to fall in love with her automatically trust me <laughs> she's an amazing person Oscar Dad. with the level of atrocity taking place in our company I don't want you to end up marrying just any girl. Okay? Atrocity. Dad, wait, wait, wait. Dad, are you aware of what happens in our company? <laughs> Oscar. It might interest you to know that uh, I installed CCTV system in that company with hidden cameras in all the offices and the factory itself. Dad. Yes. I see everything. I know everything. The reason I kept quiet and refused to act on those things I've been saying is because there is a particular girl among the staff that I have my eyes on. And that is the girl I want you to get married to. Dad, you're trying to get me confused. Wait. Dad, if I heard you correctly, did you say the girl you want me to get married to? You want me to get married to one of our staff? <laughs> Look, from the very first day I set my eyes on that girl, I told myself, this is my daughter-in-law. Son, Mom. I want you to get married to Sharon Obedi. She's the best for me. That is my daughter-in-law. What? Yes. <laughs> What's funny? Oh my world. This is not happening. Mom. I was about to tell you about Sharon. Uh -huh. That. We're on the same page. I mean, she's the one I'm talking about. It's a lie. What? <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Wait. How come? No, did you just see me the way I press it down? What the hell? But, by the way, that did you say you you know what happens in, in our company? Forget about that one. Give me a handshake. Dad! <laughs> You're my son. Dad, but wait a second. You mean you've been seeing everything happening in the company? Of course, yes. <laughs> So I have good news and I can't wait to spill it. What good news? Um, my parents, Chief Richards and uh, Justice Mori, they have accepted for us to be together. Ch Chief Richards? Yes. Chief Richards of Richmond group of company as in my boss is your father yes he's my father um we've been we've been working together for a while now but why why did you hide your identity from me how why is that supposed to make me feel it's a long story i apologize but uh i'll tell you a lot of things about me that you don't know I have a lot of things to tell you about myself and my family. A lot of things, yes. But moving forward, my father said it is time to take our company to the next level. And you're not exempted. You're going to be part of it. So I'm here to take you to work. Yeah. Let me repeat this question. You mean Chief Richard of Richmore Group of Company? Your father? 
Super. Um, I welcome all of you to today's staff meeting. We've been having staff meetings, but this one is a peculiar one, a special one. Uh, without much ado, let me introduce a special someone to you. Oscar, please stand. Thank you, Chief. May I introduce to you Barrister Oscar Chukwebuka Richard from the surname you must have realized that it's my son. He is going to be your new managing director. Well, um, I will be retiring very soon, and um, he is taking over from me as the new managing director of Richmore Group of Companies. Right. right? Um, Oscar, you're welcome. Thank and, you, Dad. Uh, Oscar? Yes, Dad. You may address your staff. Thank you, Dad. Hi, everyone. I can read your mind. Everyone is surprised. Like my father rightly said, I'm Barrister Oscar. Yeah, I know. Um, you're surprised. <laughs> uh, first of all, I would like to uh, commend my father for his hard work, for running this company for over 30 years. Or should I say, for successfully running this company for over 30 years. Um, my father is a great man. A great husband to my mother. Thank you. A great father to me. And a great boss to everyone. Dad, I must thank you for giving me the opportunity to, to learn, to acquire knowledge overseas, and um, most importantly, to be your son. Thank you, Dad. Welcome, son. After law school, I wanted to practice. But my father said, no, I am retiring, son. I need you to run the company. And I said, how, Dad? I, I'm inexperienced. I, I don't know what you do here, and how do I run the company? And my father said to me, you have to start from somewhere. I said, OK, where do I start from? He said, come be the GM. I said, how do I become the GM when I don't have the experience? He said, you have to start from somewhere. I said, how, Dad? He said, I have an idea. And I said, what's the idea? He said, come work as a PA. And I can tell you've been seeing me signing checks, going on errands, carrying my father's briefcase, driving him everywhere. And this is my point. During my time working as a PA, I was sensitive enough to observe a lot of things. Lack of work ethics, lack of character, stupidity, no control, no integrity. 
Mr. Edmund. <laughs> what I are mean, you laughing at? Arrested for You what? tried to poison my dad. <laughs> you tried to kill my dad. You gave him an eye drop. And you poisoned it. How dare you? You wanted to take over the company. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the hand of the devil. I, I, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to poison your father. It's the devil's hand of the I can see some of you are pregnant. Thanks to Mr. Edmond and Mr. Jeffrey, who's on the run. But can I surprise you? My father has hidden cameras in his office. He knows about everything, but he pretended not to know. Are you happy now? You should be ashamed of yourself. God used Sharon to change a lot of things. God used her to save my father's life. God used her to save this company from drowning. You wanted to drown this company, Mr. Edmund. We saw you. We saw everything you were doing. This company is my father's hard work for over 30 years. And there you go. You want to ruin the company? You want to ruin our image? Do you know how, how long we have worked hard to get to this level? Like I said, you should be arrested. And I leave that to my father. To cut a long story short, Sharon is the new general manager here. Go married last week. And you're all invited to my wife's wedding. It takes place next Saturday. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, Oscar. And uh, one last thing. One last thing. Um, like Oscar said, a lot of. Um, atrocity went down in the company, which we saw via our hidden CCTV cameras. Now for all those who were involved in these atrocities, and that includes Edmond, his um, two pregnant women here, and the others, you are all fired. Uh, stop that. Okay. Tomorrow, the new recruits to replace those of you that are fired will resume work. And for those of you remaining, I want to thank you for your steadfastness and I wish you success as you work with my son, Oscar. Thank you. Very oh, Mr. Edmund, can you be civil and sit down? Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, as I was saying before, he would be interrupted. The new repeats will be resumed. They are always planning, always plotting, so manipulating. I wish you all success. Because of their Working selfish their needs. Nice hey! Oscar. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. Udefuna, your daughter is pregnant and I'm not responsible for her pregnancy. Oh, what is it that you do not understand? I say your daughter is pregnant. She has been sleeping with her colleagues in the office. And she think, I don't know. I know of it, but I kept quiet. Because I know the day like this will come. Oh, please. 
says, you can call your daughter and hear from the horse's mouth. Because your daughter will leave my house today. Oh God, if you come here to pick your daughter, I will return your daughter back to you in the house. Yes. Woman, listen, pack your things and leave my house right now. I thought you said you love me. <laughs> I thought you said you you can take bullets for me. So you, you could not cover my shame. <laughs> cover your shame? Your shame? Please carry your shame and go. Please pack your things and leave my house. My home. Please leave. Me, carry your shit. I really leave my house. She's just a woman. I still leave my house. Fuck you till I leave. I still leave my house. Is how you lie in I still leave, my, leave my house right now. What you saw is what you leave. How you lay your bed is how you lie on it. What you saw is what you read. Oh, you're just woman, woman. Heart straight and steady, so steady. Light shines so bright. Oh, she's always, she's always ready, ready to stand for justice oh, and lend oh, a helping hand. She's truly queer. Oh, 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 o